Hello, I'm Abby Extra Cat, and something crazy happened today because now there is this new hardcore toggle which allows you to finally play hardcore difficulty on Bedrock. We have been asking for this for years, and now I am about to start my first hardcore mode world. This is exciting. This, I, I guess, my first outside of showing how hardcore mode works. This is my first attempt to actually survive against the odds on hard difficulty. And unlike every other hardcore series that tries to go the distance, I won't be using totems when dying. The whole point of hardcore is that death is the end. So having an option that removes the death, in my opinion, kind of cheeses things. So with that said, this is a very good spawn. I'm very pleased with it. Um, hello, I'm ABX Toy Cat, and this is my attempt to avenge. The last time I tried to survive 100 days in hardcore Minecraft, I, I, it went pretty poorly, if I'm being honest with you. I, I got all the way to the dragon, and at the very last hurdle, uh, the dragon knocked me into the void. It was gone forever. We, uh, you know, I stuck to the idea of hardcore, but now hardcore is built into Minecraft. You will know, just as you did then, every, every single thing that happens on every single day from here till the end. So with that said, here is my first move. I'm going to take all the goodies this village has to offer me. I think a bed, some food, and some iron are the easy ones. And then I'm going to go look around the world and see what else I can find that will help me across the next several hundred days. So my first plan, in case you're curious, if you just want an update, I originally was going to do this all as one big stretch, like maybe have a, uh, a nap in there so I could be the first person to complete 100 days. Sadly, uh, this came out the worst possible week for me. I've been, uh, I don't know, I, my, my voice probably says enough to you, but um, basically as a result, I can't do that. It's sad. I... I, I get rarely sick. I feel like it's like once a year at, t at most and even then like I feel like most sickness is just like oh Yeah, I feel bad, but this is like yeah I, I don't think I could do that with still being uh, any amount uh, useful let alone entertaining I mean, you know really is watching someone play Minecraft entertaining is the age-old question but uh, definitely not while they're sick is the is the real answer. So we're going to make a ton of bread now. But I still want to keep one hay bale. But I guess I'll just make another one. Um, I'm going to immediately now make a stone axe. This is my go-to. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's make a stone sword. Let's... Let's go a little bit different today. Let's make a stone sword and let's go straight up to the iron tier. So this is a golem and he could kill me in one hit. The run could be over right now, chat. If he hits me in the wrong way, it's gone. I would prove that to you, but I, I don't want to... I don't want you to see me dying. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't want to die is maybe the bigger part of that. So what we'll instead do is we'll make a lovely hole below ground now. Please don't kill me, Gollum. <laughs> and as he comes over to me, as he looks curiously in the hole, he can't fit because he's too wide. And as a result, he dies. You know, this is a, it's a, it's a dark look at how society works sometimes. But I want to get iron armor as soon as possible. And that's why he needs to go. It's sad. But it's true. I need I need good stuff and I need it fast. So let's make sure that we do. So I could also get my hands on some pigs. But I think what I'll do instead is I'll tactically take advantage. Oh wait, you know you can't use wheat on pigs. Are there any cows and pens around here? That'd be really handy if so. Um, using a village as a base of operations is always a very good idea. Because they just come with so many goodies from the get-go. Which I think is handy when you're trying to deal with the never, when you're trying to deal with getting stuff for the end and diamonds and all of these big challenges you want in a world. Having a village to start things off is just a great way to jump through that. So with that said, um, this is happening in the first preview of Minecraft 1.21, um, which is very, very exciting. They've been doing, uh, you know, like... Uh, 1.20.70, 1.20.80 betas. This is our first 1.21 preview, which is really, really cool. So this is, uh, but I will not be using the 1.21 features for the most part. So uh, yeah, we don't have access to the mace. I wish we had now. You know what, chat? I'm starting to think. I, uh, you know what? I want to have them. What's even the point of doing a 121? What's even the point about the mace, chat? If we can't go into the trial chambers, do I even want to do this? You know what? Yeah, actually. Let's make a bold decision right here, right now. Should I just do this? I I want a mace, and I want it so bad that I'm willing to show you what happens when you die, chat. This was lovely. It was a very good time. But, uh, you know what? I, uh... I, if I, I, I didn't turn on update 1.21, and I feel like we're gonna need to. So, have you ever wanted to see what death in hardcore looks like, chat? Because you're about to find out. Okay. So thank you for watching my first ever hardcore series. I hope you've enjoyed it. But for now... Oh, wait, wait, one sec. Sorry, just... 
Hope you've enjoyed the series. But uh, it is officially... Oh, no. Bad, bad news. Oh, no. Sorry. It's not quite there yet. We're officially back to day zero. Oh, no. Okay. So when you die, you're stuck in spectator. And here's the crazy thing. It's better spectator than Java. You can load new chunks. But you can't ever interact with or enjoy your world ever again. So this is how my, this is how far I got my world this time. Really good. We got to day one. Can we beat day one though? That's what we'll find out. So let's uh, jump into this next one. So yeah, that is hardcore. It still says survival hardcore, but there's nothing I can actually do in that world now. I'm locked into. Oh, it's interesting. It says survival, creative, adventure. It says I'm in survival, but I'm not actually. I'm locked into creative. So let's now jump into a brand new world. Gonna quickly, uh, I, I'm, I'm using the same seed. It's a set seed that has no end because the point is I'm defeating Minecraft on end. I've never played this seed before until just now, but again, I, I want to explore it because of how quirky the end is. The portal is all the way at Y0 in the end dimension. I want to see if I can beat it. And we're going to turn on update 1.21 just so everyone can be sure. So with that said, hardcore legit V2. Can we do it this time? I mean, it was a good run. Uh, some chicken soup money for your voice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, um, I'm sorry about the, uh, the way that it might be affecting you in snap. I, my goal is to entertain and it is very rude of me to get sick during that. Um, so yeah, with that said, let's turn on hardcore and let's see if we can't do it this time. So hello, I'm IBX Toy Cat and I'm about to play some hardcore 1.21, an incredible thing to be able to say. And as you know, I am going to be creating this world in hardcore mode, which is a big deal. So thank you, Balloon Animal, uh, and I, I hope that this time goes a bit better. Welcome to day one of my Minecraft hardcore. It, it looks suspiciously similar, chat. I feel like we've been somewhere like this before. Do you, do you, do you get that vibe? So day one this time, we're going to make some slight improvements over last time. I'm going to get my wood made very early from this first village house here. And, uh, cause you know what, this first village house, it might as well not exist. I'm gonna tear it apart, make my own house out of it, grab a bed anyway, just in case, grab some food, and then immediately go up to the stone sword tier, just like before. So yeah, wow, de I, I'm getting a little bit of deja vu internet, but sometimes that's how these things have to go. What about hardcore fools, says Dragon Skull. <laughs> hardcore fools, I tricked you. You figured I could survive more than one day in hardcore? Well, you were wrong. So with that said, um, yeah, my first move is obviously to get iron, but to get iron, I need stone. And to get stone, I need a wooden pickaxe. It's one of the cruelest things about Minecraft, but you know what? We accept it at this point because we're very, we, we, we're just that way. We make a wooden pickaxe into a stone pickaxe so that we never need one of these again. It's terrible. No one likes it. And that's just fine uh, for the people who do. Um, so now we make a stone pickaxe to get two more. And yeah, this is a really good tech progression because it just means I can get some iron. Which, uh, so yeah, right now, I could die if this golem decides to kill me. He was very nice and not deciding to kill me just now, but he very much could have, and I have nothing to do. You speed ran a death in hardcore. Yeah, I bet I could do even faster next time. Honestly, random seed, how fast can you die, is a really fun challenge. I actually like that idea. You're not chat. So, uh, should we, should we do speed running deaths in hardcore at some point? I think we should. It'd be a lot of fun. So now we've got ourselves free iron. That's kind of the worst case scenario. I think a bucket isn't necessarily the best cool for using it. So I'll, I'll, I'll leave the crafting decision to later. And instead I'll mine a few more blocks of this guy's house. <laughs> Slowly but surely it will vanish so that I can have uh, the things that I need to make a stone axe which we'll then use somewhere else to get some wood. So I'm going to go to the top of this mountain, or I'll go to the top of a different mountain, because, you know, I've been up that mountain. I've seen that you can die if you climb down it the wrong way. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head this way, specifically so I can get some new wood. In any Minecraft world, if you seem, like, if you've got a biome you want to settle down in, you want woods from the other biomes nearby. Like, if you go one time, you've now got a trip sorted forever. It's, it's great, in my opinion. So, um, heck yeah, combine it with our highest bidder, names the stream, says Dasher. <laughs> that's a good idea right there. Thank you. You know, I, uh, that, that, that's the sort of idea I totally need. So, um, yeah, with that said, I'm now going to, ooh, look at that. This gap right here, chat, if I hadn't been looking and it was a bigger one, it could have hurt me. I could have lost half a heart there. So, um, yeah, I think a lot of people when they play hardcore, their first move is to get a term of undying. But as you all know, I don't believe in the total of dying. If I wanted not to die, I wouldn't be playing hardcore. Or I guess I, I guess I will be playing hardcore. But if I wanted to magically not die, I just play peaceful. I'm gonna be honest with you. 
if you want to have, uh, if you want to actually be facing the consequences of your action, then Hardcore of No Totem is the way that I believe you need to go. And so let's quickly just jump down here and let's mine some coal. I'm not sure if we'll see more of this in the future, but it's such a handy thing to have before you need it. And uh, yeah, let's go as deep into this biome as we can, just kind of looking to see what we find. So um, you only believe in the Totem Undying. Exactly. The only thing I believe in is against totems. You know, it's how religions work, right? Every, every human idea is basically we really like X or we really dislike Y. And dislike is a more powerful tribe. So rather than telling you about the benefits of, say, Big Salmon, I've started switching to the benefits of telling you about why you should live without Totem. Lots of people find great use from the Totem, but in the same way that, like, I don't know, cigarettes are useful for some number of very niche reasons, they're very bad in general. We, you shouldn't be pro-cigarette, I would say. Um, and so in the same way, uh, I am against the Totem and dying. It will be seen as the cigarette of our age, Internet. People will look back and laugh at you for using it. So with that said, um, Tom Van Dying is overrated, says Darth Murder 06. Um, it's actually one of the most powerful items in the game. It's got a mention by name in the Minecraft design book because they're like, yeah, some items are so powerful, it doesn't matter if they do only one thing. Oh, yes. So I've seen nothing of this seed before. I, you have to trust me on that one, but I, um, I, I do not know what this seed actually uh, holds on it. Besides the end, which is what I'm excited for. But yeah, glistening melons, no value. Gold boots, some value. Some iron nuggets, I guess I'll take them. But yeah, it's pretty decent, honestly. I could probably go to the nether right now if I just made a bucket. Is it worth going to the nether right now? I would make the argument that no, I don't want to be there. And so I'm going to make the bold decision not to go to the nether, even though it would be really cool. And you know, I, I know that's a bold decision, but it is one I'm going to have to take. So, um, yeah, the plan is to get just a single, um, my plan is to get a single sapling of the acacia and the jungle as a minimum, oh wait, is that not a jungle? It's a jungle. Uh, just as a minimum condition, because when you go on these expeditions, you'll find so much, um, you know, knowledge about your world, which is just useful to have, but you also want to bring something back that's useful, and uh, I, th I think wood is a classic easy example of that. So there is a cave down here too. I'm going to quickly craft some torches, and then I'm going to... I don't know, craft myself a bunch of acacia planks and then a quick little bit of food because I could probably do with some of that. Make a whole stack of this into bread. There we go. And now I think we're going to mine that gold block. Chat. Gold blocks are so useful, especially when it comes to trading. I think, I, I, I think I'm going to make the, the, the decision to just do it. So craftable on. Let's make so many sticks, like seriously, too many sticks. And then let's just go for the... Wait, what did I make? I made shears! No! I, I, I misclicked. And now I have shears. But that, okay, that's fine. I, I like shears anyway. I'll, I'll shear some stuff. I'll shear this sheep. You know what? Why, why not, right? Sometimes that's what you gotta do. There were some pumpkins back there I could probably shear too. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to just quickly go and get that gold block. No other issues, I imagine. I'll use dirt because dirt doesn't burn. Usually I'd use wood. But this is hardcore. I've got to be more serious about this stuff. And, uh, yeah, we're going to probably make a hole in there and there. I just kind of want to see what the what the blocks are. So if we place our wall down here, it will just burn. Yeah, you know, I, I, I bet if we just quickly... That's obsidian. That's obsidian. So we're literally missing three obsidian for this portal. That is really cool to know about. But again, day one is all about reconnaissance. I need the layer for land, and although you can do this in advance or whatever, I, I think it's one of the most important things you can do in a Minecraft world. Um, if you don't have a Minecraft village, finding one is great. If you do have Minecraft village, finding a ruined, uh, finding a pillager outpost, that's really cool. In fact, given, um, I think I need to go to that ruined outpost, and I need to kill a pillager. Yeah, because then I can get an ominous trial chamber, and I can get the mace, which is how I'll kill the dragon. Okay, so that is a long-term goal that I've just found there. And again, it's it's lovely to know. It's just over there at the positive X. Uh, probably zero on the Z scale, I'd say. So, um, yeah, we've also got a huge jungle. I don't imagine we'll find a jungle temple, but it's nice to imagine. I'm going to grab some bamboo too because it's just such a useful block to farm. And I'm not going to grab melons, but I, you know what, let's grab some melons. It's, it's so fun just to have these resources around and ready to farm if you want to. That, you know, it's it's a small sacrifice to just have that. So, um, 
glad you clarified it's a long-term goal. You know, let's let's go right now. You know, who are you to tell me what to do, Chantel? You know, you 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 think I shouldn't just run straight at that right now? I've got armor on. I'm protected. I've got fire protection. All, all, I'm very very good. So um yeah, we've got one of these wolves over here. Love the new types of wolves. And I think the best move once I so I don't have any jungle wood. I'm just gonna break some of that. Get some of that moving in my world. Uh, again, just a single sapling means I can later farm more of this wood if I want to. Uh, it's, it's useful to have, right? And uh, so I think I think I'm gonna go check out the pillager outpost. Do you keep in mind the pillager outposts have killed me so many times on hard difficulty. They kill you in basically two hits. So I can't even afford to get close enough that that will happen. But if we just, you know, if we just have good hopes and vibes, we should do well. Um, Shantel is the reason I had those cool noodles you mentioned. Yeah, the saucy noodles. Yeah, did you like them? I, uh, I really think, like, packaged noodles get a bad reputation. There's some really great examples of them. Like, um, I think cup noodles are a great one. Like, you, you think to yourself it's as good as it gets when you, when you try the lowest tier. But there's some really great versions of it out there. I think like everything in life, there's uh, always a lower and a high quality version of things. Just like this pillager outpost, right? It is a... Um, it might be something that ruins me. Or it might be something that brings me salvation. The only way to know for sure is to go. So yeah, I'm not going to have a permanent base for the first couple of days. I know that this is, you know, in hardcore, by day two, you're meant to have your entire city sorted out. But I think that when you're really playing, you know, if you're, if you're not doing that fake hardcore YouTuber thing where you pretend more time has passed so you can, you know, you, rather than doing any of that, I'd much rather say, look, this is how you should actually survive. And it's how I like to play a new world. Um, I think, I think survival is something you can do however you want. And doing it in a way that you enjoy is far more important than doing it in a way that is fake and, I don't know, view worthy. So, um, with that said, let's go ahead and I think go to sleep right as soon as we can because I don't want to deal with any monsters right now. But that is a pillager outpost that I, I, I could just go for, right? There's nothing stopping me. I mean, the things stopping me have crossbows. But besides the things that want to stop me, there's no good reason I shouldn't go. So, by the way, that is officially my first time ever making it to day two in Hardcore. Welcome, everybody. I am alive, and I don't need the bed because I'm never going to respawn. Here's the great thing about hardcore. You know for a fact that your bed is just a temporary sleeping point. So yeah, looking around the savannah, there's no... Well, there's nothing really that entices me. I already have a savannah tree. I don't have any saplings, but they'll be on the ground, I'm sure. Um, and so, yeah, my, my beef here... Oh, there is a village over there. So we'll go to the village. We'll check it out. We'll probably kill the golem. And then I think we... Let's, again, I'm going to be so cautious, chat. I cannot overstate enough that this is something that is important. But I think I could. If I had iron, I'd be so ready. So yeah, this is one of the most terrifying structures early game. But if I could just work out a way to kill them without taking damage, which I think is the shield, I'd be in a really golden position. So uh, they always deal more damage than you think. That's, that's the trick. No matter how much damage you think... A pillager can do they always deal just slightly more so I there's there's two out there now could I get can I get slightly more I, I, I bet we could if we just believe and maybe do a bit of dreaming so um yeah I think uh, it'd be nice to find an ocean but with what we've got I think the move is go to the village then go home and make some extensive notes about what's going on with this place maybe even make some boats and like traps and mobs in them could be pretty cool so um too bad they don't have a golem yeah, if they had a golem, I could let the golem loose and they could fight each other while I just sneak in and get that ominous bottle. So yeah, I really want a mace chat. And the only way to get a mace is to find a... I, I think a trial chamber would be the, uh, the, the, the the thing we want to find. And the way to find a trial chamber, funnily enough, is a trial chamber map. So I should be taking sugarcane wherever I can find it. Also, look, we got some little armadillos. Very cute. Small addition to the world. Big addition to my heart. Um, turn on underneath the outpost. Oh, that's clever too, uh, Evan Murphy. I think using blocks is always the answer. Every single problem in Minecraft can be solved with just the right number of blocks. So, um, Minecraft YouTuber that doesn't know what day it actually is, starts on day zero. 
Uh, you're thinking of Minecraft Java Edition's in-game day counter, uh, Jordan Noble. Uh, you're not thinking of how days work in the real world, <laughs> which is what I'm using for my day counter. Um, yeah, the um, it's uh, I, 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 if, if you're curious, Minecraft Java does keep track of your days internally. Minecraft Bedrock does not. Minecraft Bedrock does keep track of your time played. Do you want to see something horrifying, chat? Do you want to see the most horrifying fact around? It does tell you your time played. Uh, it's not over here. It's in the... Oh, you can't see it mid-game, I don't think. You have to, like... You have to be in the friends menu. But the amount of time I played, every time I look at it, I'm like, you know, I feel like I could have, like, learned every language. Or, uh, you know, there's definitely things I could have done that, that were maybe more productive. But nonetheless, I have enjoyed my, my 600 hours, my 600 days in Minecraft regardless. So, um, with that said, goodbye regular skin wolves. They still exist if you want them. But most people don't want them. If we're being real, right? So, um, it actually does keep track of the days, but you have to use the slash time command. Yeah, that was something I, uh, I've been testing recently, actually. You can, it's, it's not a real tracking, but there is, like, a way that you can vaguely tell. It's, it's a cool idea. Okay, so, now that I've got the iron from this village, I've got four of it. I'm gonna grab any other freebies that we can, just because they're here. Like, I, I think this whole chest, I'll take it home with me. Chests are valuable. I would like a chest. Let's take the chest. Um, and any other chest that we get that's good, we'll take it as well. As well as any brewing stands or like, you know, th this seems like a good one as well. I want to grab all of these resources and just really load up my inventory with as many of the good things as we can. Some beds. Beds are very, very handy actually. Let's take them all. And so that way our little expedition to this village won't be worthless. I think it's too early to take on that, that pillager outpost. But I also think, chat, you know, if I live it, is living in fear really what we want to do you know it's better to live it's better to die in bravery than to live in fear i think that's a that's a quote that someone has probably said at some point and so i'd better do my end off that bargain so let's get rid of this grass and this double tool grass i think that we're gonna not live in fear i think we're gonna go right in and do it chat i'm telling you right now i can do it it's hard difficulty but I know what I'm doing. I, I, I don't, but that's part of the reason, right? So, um, yeah, I I am going to take on... I, I said I'd take this easy, but I'm changing my mind. I am taking on the Pillager Outpost on day two. One of the hardest structures you can, you can really deal with in the overworld. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. This is the thing about life sometimes. You can overthink it. You can tell yourself why you can't do it. Or you can just successfully do it. So, uh, it's now or never. I mean, it's lit it's not now or never, right? It's now or any other time that is safer that is not now. Um, so yeah, with that said, um, you've been practicing with mutant mobs for weeks. Yeah, you're right, uh, the bearded guy. This is, this is nothing compared to a mutant skeleton. And so I should do just great, really by comparison. Gonna get your butt kicked, says Ryan does stuff. You know what, chat, make your, make your guesses. Will I survive this? Yes or no? I think I will survive this, so I think yes. That is what I would type in chat if I wasn't busy playing Minecraft. I think I can do this. I think I will do this just fine, in fact. So I'm going to stay back from a distance and eat fully. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and make a crafting table. And use the crafting table to make a shield. Then I'm going to use the shield um, and a ton of blocks. So as you can see, I got all of this jungle, all of these jungle planks. I'm just gonna roll in there and do this. So I can make an iron sword. Okay, we want that guy up there. That's the only guy I care about. So I'm just gonna get in there as, as sneakily as possible and then close the entrance. And then immediately I'm going to use, okay. Close the entrance, immediately shield up. Okay, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do great. Okay, go. Oh yeah. So once we use the shield, Oh, crap. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, once we got the shield done, we're ready to go. So all of these windows are probably danger points, but that's fine. Now we wait for things to come down the stairs because nothing else is coming in. It's just stuff coming out. Where are you at? Okay, there's nothing here. We're safe. Uh, there's another middle floor here. And then there's just the top floor now. So to make sure nothing comes off me, we place that there. There is one way in 
And one way out. Let's do it. Okay, so... Oh, there he is. Okay, that's the guy. If I can just kill him, I'll do great. Go! Yes! Okay, ominous bottle. Gathered. And as you can see, I took two hits. Ooh. Is that going through my shield? It is. Oh, he's got an enchanted crossbow. Did you did you know there's a crossbow enchantment that goes through shields? Well, what is that? Piercing, I'm guessing it would be? That's clever if so. If that is piercing. Have to, oh, God. There's another one. There's another one. I can hear him. Okay. So I've got bad omen out, which is great news. That, honestly, this trip has been made. Thank you, by the way, for Clutch K. Here's my last $5 toy cat. You're my favorite Minecraft bedrock YouTuber slash streamer. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So this crossbow had piercing on. It was shooting through my shield, which was something I kind of like had in the back of my head, but I didn't expect that it would actually happen. That is wild to say the least. So there's another one. Whoa. Oh, he's got an enchanted crossbow too. Oh, it's got piercing on as well, because of course it does. <laughs> What are the odds? Piercing one and piercing two. And now we get a knockback, sure. Uh, two dark oak logs, I guess. And I don't really need the potatoes, so let's now just get out of here as safely as I can. So here's the danger, now we're at the top, is I might get knocked off and then no longer be here. So I think we want to head kind of back this way. Um, I'm going to see if I've got any aggro. No aggro, we're good. I'm going to eat because I'm just a little bit low on health. And then we're just going to waltz over, get right out of this biome. I kind of want to land on that because it's nice and low, relatively speaking. Whereas we're going to take a solid, like, we're going to take a, a walloping if we hit the ground. But that's okay, I guess. Let's make a crafting table, make a ton of slabs, and then just use the slabs to get to that jungle tree there. <laughs> this is a silly pathway. When we look back at this in the future... We will question why it exists. But I think if I can just stick the landing, that was a solid way out. Okay, I didn't stick the landing fully, but I mostly did. Now we'll pick up some good food on the way home. I'd love some pork chops just for tense moments like these. Having Not having to worry about food is a really good thing in life, and also in Minecraft. Um, and so I'm going to head home, and I think I'm going to head home in glory. That is two ominous bottles, bad omen two, bad omen three. That is the start of my journey to a trial chamber, and I am very excited to see how it goes from here. I did it on day two, and now you know, on day five, when we go to a trial chamber, it will seem like suicide chat, but I hope it won't be. I really hope it won't be. So yeah, let's pick up some sugar cane as my next item. I very much fill up on inventory spaces, so we'll throw... We'll make this and this into sticks, I guess. It's weird to make different types of wood into it, but that's fine. And then let's go to sleep. I have now made it entirely through. Wait. It looks it looks dark, but it's not really dark. Uh do do do. So how's the weather in your part of the world? Uh, it's been a been a very very dry, sorry, a very wet year in the UK. But when isn't it? Am I right? I've made it through day 2, chat. I'm officially on my first day free. <laughs> okay, that's exciting. So, can I make it through day 3? Kind of a different question. Also, the pig died in vain. Yeah, you're right. I, if I was going to kill... Let's let's go. Let's make sure the pig doesn't die. It's the least I can do for a friend. And just to make this biome look a little bit prettier, I'll place these slabs around these melons. So do I confuse... I, I just want to confuse future me is what I'm saying. I also think I'm going to need some feathers at some point. So I'll grab all of these. And uh, is that pork chops over there? Yes, it is. So raw chicken, not so good. Raw pork chops, yes, so good. Great job on... Okay, so... um. I, I appreciate it. almost feels like summer here in BC. Oh, you live in you live uh, in the times before uh, the year zero, uh, Ryan. That's really cool. I, I've always wanted to go back to, you know, like before, you know, what was the C stand for that? Before Christ, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I always thought it'd be cool to live in, a, in an era where, you know, like stuff like that was real. But I just, I look into it and it's like they don't have modern plumbing. And, you know, you might have to fight in a gladiator arena to the death. For some people's entertainment. It just... I'm not convinced, honestly. I'm, I'm not convinced on the benefits of BC. So anyway, with that said, um, it is a... You killed two pigs. I did. No, wait, sorry. Three pigs. There we go. That's much better. So the plan is just to kill a healthy number of pigs so I have some good food. Because bread is a really solid, like, okay food. It gets the job done. I want food that does more than gets the job done. 
No Minecraft in BC. Oh man, Great yeah, I couldn't move on that. The outpost. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the tip, Aaron Clyburn. I I I thought that the outpost was a bit of a risky one, but I want to prove that this isn't riskless hardcore. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, drowns are terrifying, by the way. That could have been my death, so let's be more careful. Um, I want to prove this isn't riskless hardcore. I am going to mitigate every reasonable risk I can, but that doesn't mean I'm going to play Minecraft, but everything is chill and there's never any problems. That is not the way we like to play. So now, uh, we're going to go home. We're going to make a chest where we store all this stuff. I don't know if I necessarily want to make my home in the village, but I think nearby it for sure. I think maybe actually on the shore by the village might be cool. Um, yeah, I think I think leaving... I want to later have something in front of my house that I build on the water. Or maybe I just want to build my house on the water. Definitely one of those two. I think looking at that space over there, I think that seems like a no-brainer. To have a house that goes above water that I could build like some fake land below. I think it'd be fun. Um, so that's, that's I think, it's, it's got to be the move. We'll pick up all the sugar cane we can by running along the sea bank because I need to trade with cartographers and the easiest way is to give them something they already want. And so let's see if we can't find that. So any sugar cane, let me know chat because I'll be mining it like crazy. And any pigs, I'll, I'll also get them. I, I prefer not to go so far out my way, but if they make it easy, I'll make sure I get it. So day two, full iron tools and leather armor says royal exotics. Nah, I think day two, two bad omens is a better is a better outcome. You can get iron armor anytime you want to. So if you can uh, if you can get a challenge done first, that feels pretty good. Now when I go mining, I feel like, you know, what's the worst that's going to happen? Uh, you, I, I've already defeated a, uh, a bigger foe, if you will. So yeah, I think uh, nearby the village, <clears throat> right over here, just above the water somewhere, would be a really nice place to have a house. Just because you get these endless views of the, the, the area around you. Like, it's a nice sunflower plain. I'd be able to see the village, but I wouldn't have to deal with the village. Like, they wouldn't move into my house and stuff like that. So, yeah, just a little bit of separation uh, between the villagers and me would be great. And if we move it kind of at the top of this hill, that's even better. Like, right here, there's water behind me, but nothing's coming up. I can make it even safer if I want to. But then also the village is right there. And then also I've got this ocean for great access. And then I could also make a nice nether portal. Um, yeah, I think having water behind you is a bit of a bad idea sometimes. But it has high potential. It's high risk, high potential. And I think I want that high potential today. Um, so I'm going to go for it. So um, wouldn't having full diamond armor by now be better? Y yes. Okay, you know, let's get full diamond armor. You're right. Am I, am I, am I this behind already? Seriously? Oh, I'm doing terribly for myself. But yeah, I think uh, we. I think I'm gonna make my own island. I think, I think raise it up. No, I, I think just use this natural corner here, and then later make it a sharper edge. I think that'd be a cool idea. So this is where my house will be. This is my bed. This is my grindstone. This is the one that goes in front of my bed. We'll have like an enchantment room over here somewhere, where we'll put the second one. Then I need to have a chest. I'm going to put one chest over here. Uh, one chest is going to go in the village and have some stuff for that. So acacia saplings and bad omens. And, you know, the, I'll put the enchanted book, by the way, over here in my... This will be my, my enchanting room. Wow, look, it's all right. I'm so well organized, chat. I've already got my enchantment room sorted. <laughs> Isn't it nice? You can see the whole room coming together. So then we're going to have a furnace because I've got 19 pork chops I could do with uh, cooking up. And um, I'm going to have to have a rare items room or something at this rate. So that can go like over there or something like that. And uh, then we'll have a pathway to the village. Something, uh, maybe a minecart might be a classic way to do that. Sounds good to me. So to store some more stuff in the chest, this and the, yeah, we'll make we'll make some farms between here and the village, I guess, including bamboo. Let's just place these down nice and easy. Uh, big old pile. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, simple enough. And then also we're going to... Yeah, plant the sugar cane. I kind of want to do this... My house needs to be where I'm actually going to do stuff. I think having your house be near your mine is important. 
And so I guess that means I'm going to have to make my mine around here. My original plan was kind of to go over to that mountain because I could get iron easily. I could still get iron easily there, but I'm going to do the bare minimum attempt of trying to find a, a hill below this one. So let's just, let's dig down and let's see what we find. We probably won't find anything, but let's, let's see, you know, a tiny ice boat highway to the village. That would be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, is this what they call an open plan, says 9 squared 81 Yeah, it's a very open plan house. Um, we've taken the idea of outside and we've flipped on its head by making sure there would be none. A lot of people love the idea of uh, inside, but they don't realize all the upkeep that comes with it. So if you just make your inside outside, no more heating bills, no more electricity bills, uh, you don't have to worry about furniture because it's all going to get destroyed anyway. Uh, your problems kind of go away. Speaking of problems going away, thank you, OG Sock. Out for the night. Everyone enjoy the stream. Good luck to the cat. Thank you. I am very excited and I hope uh, that when you come back tomorrow, it'll be like, oh, I missed on Cat's great success. And that is the only thing we can all say. Hopefully, that is precisely what is going to happen. So we'll put the furnace there now and just immediately cook up the raw pork chops. I don't have any. Oh, I've got plenty of coal, actually. So coal is easy. But I'll also put in the wooden pickaxe just to get it done. And now dig, dig, dig. Let's do it. Dig below ocean equals aquifer. Yeah, we want to make sure we don't dig fully that way. We want to turn around quite soon, I'd say. So when we get to layer 60, let's turn it around. So at layer 60, we do a little switcheroo. And then that allows me to also have like an easy way into the mine. I think I just saw copper. Yep, we got copper. Chat, I, I witnessed the most heartbreaking lightning rod I've ever seen on Twitter today. And it reminded me that even though copper is a meme and you don't really need it, I'm going to make a lightning rod... Just to guarantee my own safety. It just feels like the right thing to do in this context. And I think it will also get me a lot of experience. So we might as well might as well enjoy a little bit of that too. But yeah, mostly I want a lightning rod. I don't want to die terribly. Uh, does anyone want to die terribly actually? Is that is that what anyone is specifically going after? Oh, okay. It's day three. I'm alive, chat. That's the good news. The bad news is I'm still very much unprotected. Also, every time you press F5, the game gets a bit weird in the preview. I've only got a gold boots and a shield. I've got some gold boots. I've got a shield. And uh, yeah, I feel like I could be doing better. So let's now make a second furnace. This one can go... Actually, let's just make it bigger on top of the previous one. It looks a little bit silly, but that's okay. And then just cook up all of that with some of these and then some more of these sorted. So pork chops going very well. Might even be going better soon. Take that out and we'll later smelt it or something else. I've got food. I've got food. I've, I'm doing really, really good. So now, Illager Banners. I, I think I want to have a room filled with my rare and unique items, chat. And so how should I make this room? I'll, I'll make something fun. I've wanted to for a while. Every time I go to... Um, I think it's... I've been into Urban Outfitters a few times recently. It's a very interesting store. I don't know... I don't understand the idea that if you live in a city, you need to wear different clothes. But that's the... It's the whole reason uh, de terre for uh, the raison d'etre. Is that how you say it? I don't know, friends. It's the reason that they exist, uh, I, I believe. And uh, I always see a wall of doors, and I think, I want a wall of doors in my house. Why, why can't I have a wall of doors? But you know what the great thing about Minecraft is? You don't need to be able to afford doors. You just need to go out and find the doors. So that has been day three. Successfully live, chat. Day four, coming up right now. Oh, yeah. Whew. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. So, copper. I'll I'll use this to make the bare minimum a lightning rod. I can make some other stuff later too, but I I just think having one of these somewhere would be nice. And I'll place it like up there, I guess. So that way it's at the highest point and it doesn't interact with me. So now, uh, become homeless, never clean again. It's working great for me, let me tell you. So I'm now going to place a torch here... Yeah, like on the other side of this. So like here. And then a torch over here. And then just because these are the most risky places for me. With like drowns maybe sneaking up or a baby zombie. Torch over there and a torch over there too. I later I'm going to need to torch up that village. But right now it's out of my simulation distance. 
so it's not a huge problem. And that, that works for me, honestly. But now let's, I guess I'll also kill the, the uh, cow. I could have probably made some decent lever armor if I killed every cow I run across, but, you know, we, we'll think about these things uh, when they're more important too. Let's go below ground and let's use my stone pickaxe so I can save my iron for in case we find diamonds. So yeah, the, the classic dig down technique is still, oh, right, you know, the, the staircase down. It is a little done at this point, but it does have good results. There's a reason that it is done. Speaking of done, thank you. Do you think they'll add fast healing now? I think fast healing is the single most important Java to Bedrock feature. And given that they're literally focusing on bringing the Trial Chambers combat adventures, as I, as need I remind you, uh, I think now is the time for it. Does that mean it's going to be now? I don't know. But thank you for the tip, kitty kid. I, uh, I know a lot of people, uh, you know, appreciate these, uh, long survival challenges, and I'm glad that you are one of them. So, that said, um, so, uh, what, can someone tell me what's going on, says the Prince Monster. Welcome to day four of my hardcore world. Hardcore came to bedrock. It is crazy. It's part of a preview right now, so it'll be part of a future update. But, uh, as a result, we can play it in the preview. And so, I'm playing 1.21, i.e. I've got the mace turned on and lots of other fun little features like the bad omen and so now we're digging down and trying to find precisely those features i think after a while we'll have to start swiggling back to where we were before but i'm hoping pretty soon we'll be in the right neighborhood for something good i think a big cave is what i really want right now if we could dig into a big cave from the top that would be swell so um yeah toy cat um would you like if they had villager cities and towns in minecraft I've been reading the uh, the Minecraft uh, game design uh, book, and the most interesting thing from it is the fact that, um, yeah, they they specifically rule out so many of my favorite suggestions. It kind of breaks my heart. It's like there are so many things I wish they'd add to Minecraft, and this in this book they talk about how yeah those are dumb ideas. We're never gonna add those. And it's like but they they seem so cool. Anyway, this will keep my attention off the scary thing. Congratulations on a scary thing. That means that you've done adult things to lead up the scary thing. Because most scary things are things that you at least choose. So yeah, with that said, we now have a ridiculous amount of iron. I think I'm going up to the surface. And I'm going up to the surface with almost a full set of iron. Which is good. I think that would be a load off my chest. Because right now, a single creeper ends the run. If you've never had a single creeper explosion on hard, I will give you the secret knowledge right now. That it's over when you find one. Is this is this an iron vein, by the way? This is this has been nuts. Do you see how long this has been going on for? Does it does it keep on going? I got I got 27 iron. I got a full set of armor from one vein. Wow. Look, I I love Minecraft veins. Very very fun. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Gotta say. Um, lucky. Do you want guns in Minecraft, Toy Cat? Every, I would love guns in Minecraft. No, I, I do think... I don't think they would do them. I think that flintlock pistols would be really, really cool. Like, I think that instead of having the crossbow... The same mechanic. So if you've never used a crossbow, it looks like this. Oh, I don't have a crossbow. But you draw it back slowly, and then it's drawn back and ready. You'd have something similar of like a gun, where you have to load it. It takes far too long. And then you get some pretty decent payoff for it. That would be the way I would do it personally. Um, so as soon as this, uh, pork, as soon as these pork chops are smelted, I'ma just r replace it with the iron, and then we're gonna get some good gear in. It's so exciting. So um, yeah, a blunderbuss be the best fit for that. Yeah, I think kind of what the the crossbow with rockets kind of has a blunderbuss or shotgun style function. It'd be cool if they had some official version themselves, but yeah, the. It's the closest thing we have otherwise. So I'm getting a ton of stuff sorted, which is lovely. And I've also got a nice chest load of potential items. Will be useful in the future. But now that I've got full iron armor, I think we could skip diamond and just go straight to the never chat. It seems reckless to do, but I think we should do it anyway. So hear me out. Um, <clears throat> I want to find a trial chamber, but I think if we go to the never first... I could go into that trial. Ah, is okay. Trial chamber or never? Which should come first? Actually, I I could see the argument for either. The trial chamber first means I'll be a little better prepared for the never, um, and the never first means I'll be better prepared for the trial chamber. 
So let me know your thoughts on which I should do first. Because I could really make a decent argument both ways. And that's, that's annoying, you know, because it means that they could both be valid. But I don't like a world of nuance and equal validity. I just want to know which one's best. So I'm now going to move all of this sugar cane. And I'm going to take this uh, with me also. Just slowly make a better farm. In fact, I can make a little insane farm right here if I wanted to. It's a classic of the uh, the Toy Cat Survival World genre. I can make a fairly simple one, but I, I think we'll instead just do that for now. The Trial Chamber is grindy. Go to the Nether first. Yeah, that's a good point. The Trial Chamber has grindiness to it. But the Trial Chamber will give me diamond armor in a way that I think is easier than the Nether. Yeah, I I think the Nether is what is is a harder sell. Honestly, I think with some good armor, I think I might do better in the trial chamber. So now it's all about finding... I guess I'll find a cartographer first. Um, I think I need to find a lot of paper. I need to get a lot of sugar cane for a lot of paper. Because I, I've got big ambitions and only small amounts of, of sugar cane right now. So one sugar cane is... I guess I'll just place it down. Once I've got three spare sugarcane, I'll make some paper, use the paper to make a cartographer, and then see what it is the cartographer needs from me. Because it's just paper one way, but he might, I might be able to buy some stuff from him. Yeah, we, we've got some uh, real villager thinking to do. Because otherwise, without that, we can just dig below the ground, hope for the best. I mean, I'm near spawn right now. What are the odds of me finding something not that high? Yeah, I think, I think we're not going to do that. That doesn't seem like a smart move. So, uh, counterpoint, procrastinate for the next 24 and get six in-game days and can make this decision future use problem. Oh, you're not Justin Delisle. You're a man after my own heart. With an idea like that, I'm so totally on board. I love that idea. I, I'm already on. I, I, I should do it. So, while we, have, while we have no drowns under the water, it's a very lucky situation to be in. And we're smelting stuff up anyway, so we're going to be here for a while. I'm going to make a chest plate just to reduce my one-hit KO potential. Uh, I guess I'll also make... Uh, no, you know I won't. I'll, I'll make a shovel now. And I'm just going to clean this area up the tiniest bit. So hear me out. Right now, the biggest threat to me and my safety, accidentally, that I'm not expecting, is a drowned spawns there and then walks up one of these hills. It would be a nightmare. So I'm going to flatten out this hill such that that is not possible. And so that means taking just some of these shortest pillars and removing them and placing them where some of the highest ones are. It's a bit of a risk, because, like, what if something sees me? But I think it should be mostly fine. Are we looking pretty good? I would say so. And uh, we could even square this off entirely. Like, make it into a literal square point. Uh, I think some people think that's ugly. Personally, I love squaring. Like, perfect squares in Minecraft. It's the whole point of the game. The, it's, it's all about moving squares. Why wouldn't you make a giant one? But even if I'm going to do that, I would still kind of bring it out a bit more. Shipwreck for paper, says Paulie. Yeah, that's not a bad idea either. Uh, if I just need a little bit of paper as a, you know, like a little start to the paper run. And that way I don't have to use up my sugar cane. Yeah, I don't like, I don't hate that idea at all. So now let's make all of these at least two or three blocks off the ground. Just really, really easy stuff. Make it so there is no physical way that you can go from that level to this level. Then also mine this coal, which is for some reason just hanging out there. And then, yeah, there we go. I think there is no way up now. And that's very important for my security and well-being. No, there's still a few blocks over here. Just bring them all up to code. It's a little bit of a waste of dirt. But it is just, it, my peace of mind is worth as much dirt as I can find, you know? If, if a drown comes up there now... They're going to have to go so far to make it anywhere near my house. Um, and by that time, they've, they've gone the front way around rather than the back. So I think they'll do entirely fine. So we'll just place all of these here so they have to go the long way around. They'll, they'll appear at the front of my house, and then they'll be ready to be slain. Or they'll have to knock on the door, by which point I can say, I don't want you inside here, which is great. So now that is my full set of iron armor ready to craft. Helmet and leggings on and on. And I am fully armored up, chat. Exciting. I am feeling pretty good about lots of things. 
You want to get redstone for a compass to trade, says uh, KMB. But you know what I say? It's day five. Yeah, I think redstone for a compass would be great. So I'm going to go dig down at minus 20 and just hope we find a trial chamber. Hoping is not always the best strategy. In fact, it's often the very worst. <laughs> but we'll be we'll using it today anyway. You know what's... Let's let's just find out, you know? Let's just kind of see. Yes, always listen to Camby. Yeah, Cam Camby is... Uh, you know, he knows his stuff. 100% knows his stuff. But hear me out here, right? What if we made the poor decision anyway? And then we'll blame it later on KMB if it goes wrong. This is what you should always do with good advice. Take good advice just so that later you can say, you know, it was all your fault for not convincing me to take that advice that you were desperately trying to convince me to do. You should have tried harder, damn it. So let's make some polished diorite. It's just a, it's a pretty block for situations like this. And uh, yeah, let's dig down some more. Is that a cave there? No, that's, that's, that's all the blocks I mined for iron earlier. I am quite surprised at the lack of anything, but it's okay. It's entirely okay. So, um, I, um, I keep refreshing, uh, but I can't find the preview anywhere. It's interesting. I just use the Windows Store to install it, and it always seems to work for me. A lot of people use the Xbox Companion app, but apparently that broke your Minecraft last week, so I don't know if that was related, but it, it made me a little worried. Speaking of a little worried, how are you doing, chat? We've had a very hectic first four days. I think my fifth day is going to be one of my most stable yet. I am feeling pretty good as far as long-term stability goes now. My trial chamber is going to be my scariest moment because I haven't fought one on hard. I genuinely don't know what to expect. Um, but yeah, let's let's have a moment. Let's have a quick chill. How's it going? My day, um, I, I went to... I, I tried to sleep last night and I just couldn't. So I ended up playing uh, games on my sofa till about 5 a.m. I, um, which, you know, sounds like a bad thing, but I, because I was just coughing so hard, I couldn't sleep. It was terrible. Um, but I, what I, what I did is I decided to do a little bit of work in that time. I did about I don't know, 45 minutes of reading up on, on Minecraft guidebook stuff. Really interesting. And, uh, yeah, just having a little bit of productivity meshed in with the very much not productivity made the whole thing feel a little bit better, which I thought was nice. So, um, also, oh no, not on one of these, says Kevin Tosh. You know what? This one's gonna be good. Just trust me. Just trust me. So, again, how are you doing with poison? You don't have much food. I've got plenty of food. I, uh, I, if I find, if I get poisoned in the trial chamber, I'm gonna use milk. Like, maybe bring a cow with me. Yeah, that seems like a smart idea, right? Like, put a, make a 4x4 four four water tunnel and just bring a cow and a boat down. Yeah, let's do that chat. I think that'd be fun, right? I think that'd be a lot of fun. But yeah, for now, we're just going to dig around the tiniest bit at minus 20. See if we can't find something and believe in ourselves. Sorry, my voice is bad. <coughs> I, um, fun hardcore project. Yeah, I think, um, I think the cool thing about hardcore is all the things that you would usually convince yourself are overkill are probably just the right amount of kill in hardcore. Like, yeah, you probably should be focusing on having, you know, something that can do this. Okay, so once we get to minus 20, that's where my mine shaft will begin. I'll make a 2x2 two two area, big enough for a boat to fall down. And uh, also, yeah, I missed some iron ore. I'm going to get it on the way back up. Don't worry, I didn't miss it. There's some deep slate coal as well. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, it's the, the rarest resource. Uh, it, it's, it's a very rare thing to find coal this low down. So deep slate coal, therefore, is very, very rare. But yeah, we're going to do it. It's like, yeah, if you believe in yourself, anything is possible, says so Share Studios. You know, I believe in myself, and so I am going to get a, uh, a tip large enough to buy, uh, some cookie dough, uh, some hot cookie dough with some extra ice cream in the next 30 seconds. I believe in myself, and so I can do it. That's how it works. Don't tell me it's not true. It's it's not gonna it's gonna confuse me at this point. So um, took out my Minecraft won't let me mace. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Oh no. Okay. Well, there goes my plan to mine the deep slate coal. I think I do want to keep that deep slate coal there until I get silk touch because it is a rare and interesting block. And you know I'm collecting those. It's a fun little thing to do. I found some deep slate emeralds while digging out 1.17 chunks. I love collecting them. I didn't. You didn't believe hard enough, says Shizy. You know, I'm not believing hard enough. You're right, my bad. Totally goofed up. 
So, I like how Minecraft acknowledged the mace was already powerful, but still added enchantments anyway in their latest short. Yeah, yeah, I saw the, um, Minecraft basically directly said that, uh, they, they believe that the mace is so powerful can kill a dragon, but they made it more powerful anyway. I, I'm totally fascinated by the, the logic there. Uh, obviously, they're being kind of humorous, but it's still interesting to say it out loud, right? So, yeah, I am now going to check on the sugarcane. The, my bamboo is growing so fast. Like, my sugarcane has grown once or twice in that whole time. And my bamboo is at the point where it's like, I have a near infinite amount For now. the cookie dough and ice cream. Ah, whoa, I believed hard chat. Okay, you know what? My bad. I said I, I, I said I didn't believe hard enough, but clearly... I just did. Thank you so much, uh, Full Barrett. I you got 13 thumbs up on that one. I uh, I'm I'm excited. I there's this place. Um, it's uh there's this really good ice cream place in London. They do like weird nitro brew ice cream. And as, as long as they've existed, they've only had one store in central uh, London. Like you know, like I know it's a it's a 25 minute train ride away or something. Like who wants to deal with that? And so now they've got one that's like within delivery distance. And so that's exciting. So yeah, with that said, um, feels like it was a couple of years ago. The mace would have been a weapon that deals one extra damage uh, as a sword when falling. Yeah, they're, they're being very bold with their design ideology. And I, I love that. I am here for Mojang to make mm. bold decisions. And I hope that they continue to do so. So I've now got a solid set of iron tools. I'd even go for the iron axe, honestly. I'm just kind of... I'll definitely go for an iron hoe, because who wants a diamond hoe? Um, yeah, I've got a really solid hot bar lined up. And I I might even go back and get some more bread. Might just be cheeky, steal all of their bread. Or go back to the previous village and take their bread, maybe? We'll, we'll work it out. For now, let's go back underground. I'm already getting bored of this long journey down both times. So this time, let's make sure we get it just right. Actually, wait, what time is it? I think now might be a bad time to go underground. I think instead we would be better off served by... Let's make a cow pen, actually. Uh, take some cows. Uh, they're going to have a little floating space, I think. I don't know what floating space means, but they'll have a little... There'll be a place for the cows that is up in the air somewhere, or down on the ground somewhere. Whichever way is simplest to imagine. So right over here, in where, between the... Where the sugarcane and the bamboo meet, we'll have our cows... And we'll make, uh, I don't know, like a wall made out of, or make a, yeah, make a wall made out of walls around them. So this is deep slate. We'll make polished deep slate into polished deep slate walls. And we'll just make a lovely pen just for the cows. I've never made my first, like, cow pen out of something like this. But honestly, kind of works, right? I hope we can all agree. No, you don't. No, 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 no. I don't agree. You're going to stay in here. Okay, good. Awesome. So I'm going to now make a fence gate, I guess. I don't know the recipe for a fence gate. I never do. You just kind of wing it until you find it. So it's lots of sticks, I know that. And then, no, 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 you, you stay in. <laughs> the cows are so good at getting out. So this is a fence gate right here. Acacia is the wrong resource, but it's fine. And now let's grab all the cows again, including this one. And let's just put them all in the pen. So yeah, if, you, if you've never tried a fence gate with some walls, I think it connects quite nicely. It's weird that it lowered them like that, but whatever. Um, and now we can breed some cows. And just like that, I've got the start of a beautiful farm, which can later get me some decent leather resources to go with everything else. My sugar cane has been growing nicely. I'm really liking the, the speed of that. Again, I need to have ludicrous amounts of this later. So having any decent amount of it now, very good to see. And I also think that uh, another farm that could be useful is uh, the chicken. I always find myself needing feathers, like, mm. last minute. Like, even if it's just crafting arrows or something. I don't want to farm skeletons or kill them in large numbers. So if I just had a chicken farm sorted now, I think that, that could go a long way later. So I'll put a chicken farm next to the big mm. cow farm, but much smaller, I think. Let's get some seeds. Um... And let's find a second chicken, I guess. So, chat, you seeing any you seeing any 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 chickens besides that one? I'm not seeing any. So, um <clears throat> due to corner, they cannot. Yeah, the as as I understand it, it's weird, because the this should be an easy way out for them. But I don't think they actually use it. 
Could be wrong. Could be they're going to leave via it any day now. But I think that we're safe. Just in case. Place one of these, though. And now that means that... Oh, wait, is the... Yeah, now the cows might be able to jump out. But probably not. We'll find out. We'll find out. I'll also place a stair here. And over here. And now it just looks slightly cooler. Honestly, I kind of want to place more of these. And then, like, have a whole roof on top of this. Yeah, I like this idea a lot, chat. What do you reckon? Just big roof on top of this? Keep the cow shaded all year long? Okay, so that is now the end of the day. It is, uh, I tried to not have nighttime come on hardcore. It's an easy preventative measure you can take. Speaking of preventative measures, welcome to day six. Yeah, we're here. And the first move is to make a two by two hole down into my mine shaft so that I can bring cows or whatever else with me where I'm going down there. I don't know if I'm going to make any ice highways or anything crazy like that. But just a two by two hole means that later I can make good use out of it. And so that's precisely what I'm going to do. So we go down the normal way, which is over here. Might probably need to signpost this better. And then we're just going to find a nice spot, uh, put some water in it, and then dig down. It feels risky to dig down, but it's usually not. Especially if you dig two blocks at the same time. So I think I'm getting messages from my editor right now. I'm just going to confirm that they're not. Okay, I got a message uh, from Harrison, actually. About the thumbnail. Um, yeah, I... Um, the... Uh, the spawner should be bigger. The vault should be bigger. Almost whole screen. With the hardcore art on it. Okay. I'm just going to check everything's going good. So yeah, if you don't know, every time I stream on a snapshot or preview day, what I basically do is I, um, I record my video and then I start streaming. And then while I'm streaming, the video gets edited and eventually uh, comes out. And it just means there's a few things to do a production that I like to keep my eyes on. Um, so Harrison chat says hello. <laughs> you know, I, I'll have to let him know. Uh, chat says hi, Harrison. If he's around, I hope he knows now. So I'm going to make a big square here. This is where I will be safe to dig down to. So the coordinates are 803, 804, 196, 805, 197. So if you ever want to struggle to remember these, you can just write like 804, 804 to 805 and then you can write 196 to 197 but I'll, I'll remember that I'm sure and, and worst case I've got chat here but yeah it's, it's, it's a useful tip I try to give in every video it's just it's it's useful to know right it's very useful to know I'll make the area just a little bit wider and a little bit brighter and at this point we could just randomly dig for a trial chamber it might work for us just as well but yeah we'll be great so, um, I recently saw a place that sells lobster rolls, says Maureen Olsen. I was super tempted to try, but I've heard the stories of what happens to mortals who eat the foods of the gods. <laughs> it's really, uh, what it usually is, right, is, like, um, lobster doesn't taste good. It's a, it's a really bad, it's like a fish insect. But because it doesn't taste good, but it is kind of like, you know, fancy in certain ways, they have to use so much of the other things that make things taste great. So they use clarified butter, they use brioche rolls. Usually a lobster roll is like delicious. Sometimes they use mayo if you live in certain parts of the uh, the world. But yeah, it's a um, it's it's something that you you got to keep in your mind. And uh, also, does anyone keep their survival world cords in a book? Yeah, I've heard of quite a few people doing that. The one guy. It's a really cool idea to keep it all you know stored in a place. I think at least. Okay, so eight hundred four, eight hundred five is over here, and over here. And 197 and 198 are over here and over here. So this is the area I'm going to dig down right now. 805, 196, 197. Check that again. 196, 197, 804, 196, 197. So now I know it's the exact same area. I can just dig down. I'll even bring some water with me. By the way, making my favorite type of progress right now. Sugarcane progress. Yeah, you better believe it. So we'll just uh, harvest all of these. Nice and easy. And uh, yeah, we got enough sugarcane. We could definitely make the cartographer villager by now. 
In fact, I think I will. I'll make, I'll plant four of these down. Just, you know, keep, keep the things moving. And then I'm gonna make paper and make a cartography table and try and see what the steps are gonna be like. It's been so long since I last did it. I uh, can be reckons a compass is in there and that sounds right from the last time I did it in Creator. But we'll see. <clears throat> oh no, I, 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 I swallowed water slightly wrong there, but I'm just gonna try not to cough. Done too much coughing in snap. I'm, I'm training my body like, no, you cough when I say so, not when you say so. Um, let's go wheat and a wheat. And we won't have to breed anymore because mm. there's only two cows there. And I haven't made the chicken farm yet, but hopefully that gets going soon. So the next move is to... Okay, so we dark oak planks, I guess. Next move is this. And just take it over to the village, I guess. See how they react to it. I'll keep my cartographer village nice and safe in a house somewhere. And if I have to, I'll destroy some of their existing professions. But it looks like that's an unemployed villager. So I won't even need to. So you are going to have this be your full-time job. Okay, so... As you can see, he is now locked in a box. Nothing is getting him. If I place a trapdoor there, he'll be even safer. But for now, I just need to know. 24 paper. I'll advance by one or I can buy a map but it's expensive and then I'm gonna need a compass to get the map or I, and I can trade with him 11 stained glass uh, 11 glass so I better start getting my glass ready now yeah that just seems smart I think obviously I could fight a raid I'm not gonna fight a raid I could fight a raid if I get some good arrows maybe that becomes smart but I'm not convinced that right now is the time to <coughs> There's the water I spotted wrong. I'm not convinced now is the time. All the rich people who refused to eat stuff like uh, lobsters and oysters in the past missed out big time. I've tried oysters so many times just to... Like, there are lots of things that I don't want to do on a fanciness level. But I want to know if I'm, like, missing out on something. So I've tried all sorts of terrible things. And oysters just taste like nothing. They taste like the seasoning you put on them. Which is great. I love Opportunity Sweet seasoning. We all love chips, right? But, uh, it's just uninspiring is all I'm saying. Uninspiring. So, um, now I'm going to make a very tiny little, uh, farm of chickens. It's going to be quite small, actually. But that will work out in my favor later. So just put them all in one place over here. And then real quick, sneak in some... No, 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 don't leave. Don't leave me. Stay, stay in. <laughs> I don't... Okay, so that chicken's just going to stay there. That's a worthwhile collateral risk to me. And then we're just going to... No, 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 no. Stay in. Okay, so just come back this way. It's good over here. Trust me, you like it over here. And then just uh, place some blocks around here. No, they're so good at getting out. Okay, so there's no way they're making it out now. I say before one immediately makes it out. Okay, so last chance, chicken... You can live a good life in this pen, or you can live a, live a terrible life out there. Which are you going to pick? Do I have to break this down for you? Is this is this getting in your way, maybe? There we go. It was, actually, weirdly enough. So this way, please, if you could, into over here. And I probably am going to have to replace some blocks later, but for now, this is fine, right? Yeah, perfect. Two chickens caught. My problems are all resolved. So just lots and lots of blocks. Lots and lots of weirdness that will all be resolved in the future. In fact, I don't really need these walls, so I'll just do that. And I said, you know, I kind of do want to put them on the sides here, if nothing else. And then I'll put one block in the middle here, just to get myself out. Okay, just get myself out, and then re-break it. And now I've got a farm that is going lovely. Just, just lovely, chat. But I, I was in the middle of... Um, I was in the middle of trying to go down. These pens look like a prison. No, I'll put a, I'll put a nice colored roof on there, so it looks less like a prison. Like I'll make I'll make a rainbow roof, and it'll be okay because it's you know it's not. It'd be wrong if it was you know any other color of roof, but I'm sure a rainbow roof is okay. So let's now. I don't even know where to put some sheep if we were gonna put some in here. I guess we just dig out a hole here, maybe. But um. Yeah, I, I want to dig down my hole, which is just over here. And I'm going to do so very carefully, very deliberately. 
Or I should, okay, it's very close to the end of the day. If I dig down, I won't make it. So let's instead dig away this beach over here. Um, and then use it to make uh, glass panes so that later we can trade for emeralds. It's a really good value trade if we can just get up to it. And I really liked it. So uh, do bedrock chickens phase through uh, fences and walls like on Java? I sure hope not. I sure hope not. I cannot confirm for sure, but I would like it a lot more if the answer was no. That's for sure. Okay, so um, I I'm, I'm I'm living a pretty good life so far, though, right, chat? What do you reckon? I I'm uh, I've gone a full hour or so into this, and I've got my basics ready to farm, ready to go, really. I've got my my necessities. Uh, I've got my necessities of life. I've got a lightning rod. I've got a house. You know, it's open plan, but it is a house. Um, I'm going to just store some of this in there. Just it, on me is a bad place for some of this. Yeah, I, I'm feeling pretty good about my my prospects so far. So, you can't use the trick for mining where the block is at the edge of your distance to break it faster. I do like to do that, but it doesn't make sense until you get, like, the higher end enchanted stuff, in my opinion. It's a small difference, but not a lot of, you know, like, for a lot more than a small amount of work. But yeah, let's dig down, and then let's go get some lava after this, so that we can smelt all of our sand without any pain. You're doing really good. You're making us real proud, says Dasher. Thank you very much. So, um, with that said, uh, I love Bedrock so much. I'm happy we're getting hardcore, but I understand why it took so long to add it. Yeah, there was a... Um, I, 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 I'm glad you understand uh, Kerry. Kerry Yang's uh, Saturday kickoff. I, um, I'm really excited to finally have real stakes Minecraft. Because, you know, like, I... Even though I delete my world every time, so it means the same, everyone now can immediately look at my hearts and know, if I die right now, if I dug down a wrong block and end up in a cave, that's the world gone forever. Not just, like, a little bit. Not just, like, oh, uh, yeah, it's gotta, gotta jump into... No, it's gone. Without external save editing, your world is gone forever. Which means that it is gone in a way that everyone can see and everyone can tell. That is a really cool thing in my opinion. So I can't uh, make a water elevator to your mine shaft sometime. I think um, I think that probably is a good idea. I think this is going to be a fast way in but not a fast way out. A fast way out probably would be a good investment of time. All things considered. I'm picking up so much iron by the way. Like too much iron. A suspicious amount of iron. But it's okay. So, yeah, we're going to go to the village. We're going to go back to the ruin portal. And I'm going to go make it into a full portal. And maybe just go to the nether and check it out, you know? Just see what's happening over there. See if I like it. You know, not commit to living there forever. But it could be good. The, um... I'm not well versed in bedrock edition, so shies. Oh, welcome to the bedrock edition. Uh, we have big salmon. We have weird bugs to do with uh, lots of parts of the game. But we also have, I don't know, a sense of community that comes when you when you have such a confusing relationship with Mojang. So um, you have all that iron to craft extra chest plates in case you eat some of them, says HackerOneMC. <laughs> that, that's a real risk with chest plates in Minecraft. We've proven before. You never know when you'll get hungry and just take a snack on your chest plate. So, um... Yeah, I, uh, I've gotten so much iron. What what am I going to do with this now? Like, seriously, like, an anvil is on the cards. But I don't, like, I guess I've got that one enchanted book I could take advantage of. Don't forget the gold for the nether. Yeah, you know, that might be a reason to go to the nether before doing the overworld stuff. Should we go to the nether, chat? Are you emotionally ready for the nether? It feels like a big, oh, yep. Didn't make another big axe. Don't... Okay, I'm just gonna make this. Place it there. Okay, good thing that I have happen to have the wood on me for that. But, um, make an iron golem to protect you in the nether. I would love to use an iron golem versus a trial chamber. I wonder how well it would actually work for you. Because iron golems don't fight, like, creepers. But they might fight spiders on your behalf. Cold pizza and toy cat stream. Let's go. Okay, this is going to blow your mind. But if you take cold pizza and you heat it up in anything that's not a microwave, it gets even better. 
Cold pizza is already so good. But if you make cold pizza not cold, it's it's crazy. You're not going to believe this. The elites want to hide it from you. But warm, warm cold pizza, better than cold cold pizza. It's crazy. It doesn't seem like it can be true. But let me tell you it is. So now that we've gone down here, we've got a really nice hole that I'm going to have to be very careful not to fall into, by the way. Um, but yeah, I um, always avoid carry a stick of planks and cobble in case of emergency. Yeah, you, you're right. Chaos sketch. It would have ruined me. I'd have to make a big pile out of here. Would have, would have been a whole pain that I've avoided because of the beauty of keeping just the right ingredients on me. So now we've got some tough for the first time ever. I have no real need for tough. Wait, I can make some nice tough bricks. That'd be nice. Yeah, I might as well. Take, enjoy the, the newest things in the preview. Um, but yeah, I, uh, yesterday I heated up uh, cold pizza and it turned on the wrong oven and burnt an empty, dirty metal tray to crisp. Oh, I, I've done this multiple times in my life. I've, I've taken off the lid to some olive oil to use it on something and then put it on my pizza tray, not realized, cooked a pizza, and then just found a big pile of, like, melted plastic in there the next day. Probably bad for your health in the long run. But you know it's not bad for your health in the long run? Digging down. People say it's risky, chat, but as long as you have enough blocks, you'll be just fine like me. There we go. So now I can make an infinite source. And anything that falls down will be safe if it falls into here. And now I think I'm going to go look for a trial chamber. Let's go. What are we going to find? No, I... Is now the time for a trial chamber search? No, now's the time to search for redstone. I need redstone to make a compass, or I can't do anything else. Let's try to do precisely that. Okay, so I, as you can see, I've got an easy way in. I don't have an easy way out, though. Someone is right to bring that up. But yeah, I need to get um, iron and redstone for compasses. I don't really have those right now. So let's uh, let's work it out. So Kat, let me know your favorite pizza toppings. I uh, let me know your opinion. I the thing is, is it's so easy in my opinion to make a good pizza. Put any amount of like you know like Italian meats on there, and it's delicious. Pepperoni is the classic pizza topping for a reason. Like it's already bad for you. You know we're not we're not any, if if you put like a vegetable on a pizza, it doesn't become healthy. Just, just, just all the meats. Maybe a piece of sweet corn if you feel crazy. But, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, why, why I need the compass when you have Dasher? Honestly, you got a good point, Xavier. I, I, I do have my own, uh, localized version of a compass. Uh, much more effective than a compass. Better customer service, too, honestly. I don't even know why I bother with the regular compasses. So, yeah, while digging around, I found zero redstone. Which isn't promising. But maybe we just dig it down a few blocks. And then we'll find some. I remember about minus 20 is a, the lowest you really want to be digging for a trial chamber. I have no impression I'm going to find a trial chamber right now. But I just want to find some redstone. Redstone's found a lot lower down. I just kind of figured we might find some this high up. But I figured wrong. I figured wrong and now I will pay the price. Uh, although this this top will be nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this for I'm gonna use this for all sorts of nice things. Okay, so redstone hunt unsuccessful. I think we might be more successful. Genuinely just finding it somewhere else. But um yeah, finding my own stuff, not super good. I love the tough noise, says Scorn Sean Skeeter Sullivan. I, I really like the sound of mining tough too. There is a certain satisfaction to it that is hard to describe, but it's just so good. Is it inventory management neglecting time? Says Hacker1MC. You know, it's my least favorite time of day. It's the time of day where I have to acknowledge that I have an inventory management problem. It's terrible. No one wants to acknowledge they have a problem. It's way more fun to just have a problem and then ignore it for generations. But instead... Let's do the real thing. Do do the thing we have to do at this point, and say, uh, okay, iron goes away. Easy. Uh, resources they go in the chest room. I don't have a chest room yet, and I don't have the wood to make one. Let's go get the wood to make a chest room. I don't think I want that. That 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 tree over there is just ugly, chat. I don't like that tree. It makes me feel uncomfortable. 
So we'll chop down the tree, use it to make some chests, and start a storage room in case we need one. Realistically, it'll just be like a big chest for most things. Oh, there was a hole right here, chat. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. This, this would have saved me so much time. Ah, oh, look at it. It just... Ah, oh, man. I... I... Should we go down there tomorrow? <laughs> I, I think I should have. Look how close it is to my house. I can see my house from here. It's usually a bad thing. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm overwhelmed with joy having hardcore on bedrock, says Malolo. I, um, I, I do think that this is one of those important types of parity. That it's cool to see them adding. It's, it's, it's great to see. I think the TNT stuff is really great too. This is going to be a good update for parity. You can tell already. Okay, so I'll scoop it up there. Climb it. And then break it. Oh, this is not working at all. So we'll just scoop it up. And we'll just, there we go. From the top of it, it's working. No. Okay, look, let's let's uh, use some dirt. Because it's nice and cheap. It's dirt cheap, in fact. Just break to the top. I just want all these leaves to go away. And if I have to get too much wood in the process, that's okay. So this and that. And then break a few more blocks. Is there any more leaves? There's one over there, and there, and there we go. That should be good. So I just got myself in that one process, 21 blocks of blocks. Wonderful. Now I need to design a chest room. Honestly, I love having a chest room that's made out of chests. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I could live without one. I'd, I think it would be unfair to ask me to live without the chest room made of chest chat. And so I shan't be doing it. Instead, what I think I'll be doing is I'll make it out of deep slate or something, but like back this way. So if I've got a house here, I could have like a little courtyard and then one, or I could just store it like right here, I guess. Um, so deep slate, but we'll turn the deep slate into deep slate bricks. And then we'll make the simplest version of this, like six by six, eight by eight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And just, just sim simple stuff. Uh, this is this is what a chest looks like. There's like a little outline. And then it's filled in with the right type of wood. Right now, I don't know what wood that's going to be. But this is the basis for something great to eventually come. Then we'll make four of these so we can make one of these what are you doing up there throw it on the ground there we go make some chests logs oh man inventory management i'd swear i'm sometimes good at it eight chests one two three four five six <laughs> and then the next row will just go unlined up yeah this is great i love it and then and then we could continue more, but for now it's fine. Put all the cobblestone in here. Put all the granite and the diorite. Just everything from a mining trip that I just want to load out somewhere. We'll throw it in here. And it can come future me's problem. <coughs> okay, so you can you make a chest plate statue out of chests. Oh, I like that. A chest plate. Ah, you know. You can make a uh, a giant plate out of chests. Could achieve a similar goal, I reckon, if you really believe in yourself. But yeah, we're really getting some decent experience. We're getting real nice progress on the cow uh, farm too. I've now got two sets of cows that I can breed, which means more sets of eventual beef that I can create. Um, <clears throat> I've got lots of eggs growing from these chicken farms, which honestly is probably to be expected, but still a pleasant surprise. I might just put the chickens all in one place and farm the eggs that way. Uh, might be worth considering. So for now, let's jump in. Egg, egg. Didn't get anything. Sand my way out. Break the sand. Didn't get the sand back, but it's fine. So today I need is all about um, making progress with the cartographer villager. I am going to eventually need some sand. Uh, smelted up. So I'm going to move that way. I'm going to try and... In fact, I'll go to the nether as part of my progress plan. That seems indirect, but trust me when I say it is 
It's on the way. It's 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 linked. So I'll bring my chickens first, just because I've got two and I've got two seeds. Wasted opportunity not to. And now we're gonna go to the Never, and on only briefly, just to give a peek, to see what it looks like. You know, if it's a disastrous Never, let's not spend too much time there. But if it's a good Never. I'd like to spend quite a bit of time. Although I've also got, now that I'm thinking, I've got this whole thing to deal with, don't I? Um, I'll give it a peek. It's a just a small one. But this is valuable, valuable space not to look at. And so I think I should. Uh, so cat, read the chat. It's day eight, not day seven. You missed the count. Thank, thank you. My bad. Um, okay, so... Lots of copper. I bet there's redstone down here too. Look how deep it goes. Yeah, this is everything I wanted. But without having to deal with all the things I don't want to. It's lovely. It's all the best of the world. So, just get some lovely pieces of iron. Get a... Oh, even more pieces of iron. Yes, please. Um, This might be a bad idea. Yeah, that is a risk. But I've got the shield and I've got the armor. So I can at least get out as the risk presents itself. But I just want to find one redstone ore. Or diamond. Diamond would be nice. But I would prefer redstone at this point, funnily. Because then I can make a compass. Just just some simple compassry would put me a long way ahead in Minecraft. So we'll make another water bucket down. Just over there. That's a skeleton, which is kind of scary. Now let's just see any 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 redstone. I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing any at all. Uh. Yeah. No. Nope, just iron. There. Maybe. No. Yeah. I, I think I think we could go check down there, but it's too scary with that skeleton. I could kill the skeleton, but by the time I kill the skeleton, there might be bigger things to fear than a skeleton. This is why I shouldn't have done it, chat. I should not have jumped down here. Okay. There's a creeper right behind the skeleton. And there's another scrap. Okay, okay. This is bad. 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 Um. Okay. So I backed myself into a corner. This is the stereotype of what is bad as an idea to do. Crouch again. Oh, I, I should I should have had a block on my hotbar. I messed up so bad. Not having a block on my hotbar. Okay, go, go. Block. Oh, I didn't do it in time. Okay, we're fine. Perfect. So, just drop a torch down there. Drop a quick pork chop right now. And uh, replace this with something more usable, I guess. Actually, you know what? Deep Slate Bricks seems fun. No, but dirt, dirt seems more logical. Then we're going to go down here. There's a creeper right behind me. Probably deal with him. Oh, no. Don't do whatever you're about to do. And then just take a little peek down here. Just a small one. Again, not not long. Just, just taking a glance. <clears throat> Seeing what the options are. I've got some gold. That is handy. Um... But no sign of redstone. Why did you come from? Okay, so we got a Fletcher as well. Should we want one? Do we want a Fletcher? Wouldn't be too hard. Uh, weakness potions aren't impossible to make. So yeah, what is that noise? Chat. What is that noise? Did you hear that? It sounded like zombies breaking down a door. But there's no doors for them to break down. What? Yeah, you're hearing that, right? What are they breaking? Is there... What structures underground have doors? I don't think... The copper... I don't think the copper in a trial chamber can be broken. Toy cat, do you think you should carry your bed with you? So you can sleep wherever you need, and it's not like you'll get sent back to spawn if you die. Lol. Yeah, I, I do think that is a really good idea. Honestly, yes. Totally agree. Real smart. Uh, the reason I'm not doing it is not out of any smart preference. It was just that I figured I was going towards a village today.
Okay, skeletons are my the bane of my existence. I just want to find some redstone. I think we're too high up for redstone, clearly. But I still would have expected to find some. And I'm finding the opposite of some. So that zombie has some seeds, and I would like some seeds, weirdly. So thank you. And then just finish you before you do anything to me. Oh, okay. Scary day in a cave. Could be over in a minute. Wouldn't even know about it. But yeah, this this cave is a lot of iron. It would have done what I've done with my mine shaft iron, but like much faster. So it's useful to know these sorts of things. Like hindsight is a bit of 2020, but it's why you should look for something like this first. I figured that the mountain was too far away. I wouldn't have guessed there was something in between. But if I had taken a peek, I'd have realized just how valuable this could be. Get the iron, then get out. That is my mission objective here today. And it is a solid one. Thank you for asking. Ooh, more iron. I, I, I think once I've got the anvil, it really is just my own arrogance for wanting this iron. But it's nice to have, isn't it? Like, when, when your armor's uh, fully repaired like mine is, it's silly. But it's, it's still something that could be nice. So that is... Oh, wow. I've got my first lapis... Um, before my first redstone. It really, the game has given me everything but what I'm looking for today. But that's okay. It's part, it's part of the enjoyment, I would say. Um, people keep saying the pickaxe is dead, but it just keeps on going. <laughs> I, I keep thinking it's dead too, chat. But sometimes you just gotta believe. And when you believe real hard, do you know what happens? <laughs> that's what happens. You, 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 learn, you learn a valuable lesson in humility, which is to say that just because something works once doesn't mean it ever will work again. <laughs> uh, um, okay, so I'm going to head up to the surface. I'm going to put some nice touches on the house, I think. I uh, Oh, wow, we almost near the end of the day already. It's looking pretty dark out here. Did I spend a whole day in this cave? There's no way that can be true. No way I spent a day in here. Something has gone wrong. The day, the day night cycle is moving incorrectly. That is the only explanation. It's a weird one, but it's the only one that I can understand. So, yeah, weird. Wow, we spent a whole day in there. You have the most impeccable timing. Yeah, I, I know. I, it's, you know what the secret to good comedy is? Timing. Okay, so um, day day eight was a blast, but day nine will be better. So first things first, let's put a nice touch on this house, right? I think I'm finally worth one. So I'm going to make myself a sign. Because everyone, you need a good sign for a house, right? And so we'll just place a, a nice sign over here on a block of white wool. In fact, on a block of blue wool. Um... There'll be a nice little block just over here, and on that s on that block, we can write. Where's my sign? Here it is. You know, every house that is lived in by by myself needs to have one message on there, and it is toy cat is yes, and then double space, double explanation mark. Very important. It's now official. It's it's not just a house chat. It's a home. It's a glowing home, apparently. Can we change the color of it as well as making it glow? I don't think I want it to be blue, but it's still very... It's a, it's a fun idea. Okay, so lap is in this chest, as well as um, iron in this one. I've got so much iron on the go at this point. But yeah, I have now... I can now officially say Toy Cat is yes. And I also am going to have to work out the space for my rare and valuable items. It's going to be a nice idea. This is doing a lot of central planning and filling in the gaps later. But I am kind of enjoying it. So I, that's what matters at this point. Uh, now let's head towards the nether. It's day nine. If I'm going to die in the nether, it might as well be before double digits, right? Seems logical to me. So let's let's go die in the nether before double digits. It's, uh, you know, we die at this point. People would say you made a great effort, Toy Cat. They'll mourn me at least. Um... And 
sometimes that's what you need in life more than anything else. I'm going to actually make a couple of pickaxes first, though, because the Never needs pickaxes quite badly, I might might theorize. So, do, do, do uh, new sword? No. I make, I'll make a stone sword, though. Put it in the chest. And then make a iron pickaxe just to have one on me. Awesome. So, a few more blocks can just go in here. Put them away for now. Keep that on me, actually. And then also we're going to breed our chickens together and our cows for one run. This is just the stuff that needs to be happening in the background to have a successful world, in my opinion. And then we have got almost all of the sugar cane growing up to a second level. Love to see the progress. Absolutely loving to see it. So just move it all a little bit closer. Nice, 21. So this is almost at the point where we should just start selling it more than anything else. But we're not quite there, I wouldn't say. And, uh, yeah, we'll also place just some dirt, like, one block further away, like there. And then place the whole second row going out this way. And this is how the sugarcane farm will be from here on out. Just dirt on both sides with sugarcane directly on top of it. It's efficient. It's effective. <coughs> okay, so 16 sugarcane. Lovely good. More sugarcane there. More sugarcane here. Sugarcane everywhere. Okay, so look at look at this, by the way. It's going so fast too. But I I just yeah, it's not it's not an emergency to deal with it. I could probably use it for furnace fuel. But yeah, in fact, let's use it just to get a few sticks. Let's just get a few of these turned into sticks. 14, 18, 19. Uh we'll break one more of my fist. 24, 26, 27. Come on, just give me give me an even number. That's all I'm looking for here. 33. Okay, 32 it is. That is 16 sticks. If I play my cards right. Which is great. Okay, now we're going to go get uh, some lava. I don't have a way to turn it into infinite lava yet. So I guess I'll actually go... I'll bring a bunch of buckets. So I can just bring lots of lava back with me. And then I can power my furnace uh, pretty well. I think my first never portal probably should be over here too, so I'm glad it's something I'm thinking about. But just like a nice pile of buckets. Five buckets. Is five buckets enough? Yes. Is it too many? Meh, probably also yes. But um, will this be on VOD anyone? Um, so to answer your question, Hayden, uh, a lot of these live streams, or every live stream you can watch on demand later on YouTube, um, it's always, it's if it's if you can't find it on the live section of my channel, because YouTube doesn't always recommend live streams because it knows you as a viewer and expects that you might prefer a video or at least a, a video would keep you on the platform longer. And so if you want to see the live streams uh, and even the ones from the past, all you have to do is go to my channel, youtube.com slash toycat slash live. Or you can find in the description of every single one of these live streams, it's called my unlisted live streams playlist. Um, I leave it linked down there. And uh, it's, a, it's a way to solve this. So, yeah, you waited so long for the lightning and super flat. So long, but unfortunately, you had to end the series. I'm going to start a brand new uh, ultra flat series, though. I've been saying that forever, but I, I really want to. It's, a, it's one of those exciting ideas to me. I feel like there's always something else coming up, but there's a, it's, it's, it's something that's going to happen anyway. Open the world in 12080, and there's a stronghold right under the village. I think strongholds under villages is incredibly common. Uh, but that that probably sounds right. I, I I feel like it happened last time, and it caught me off guard. So I'll just I'll keep in mind mentally this time that there might be a stronghold below my village, and that way it won't mess me up. In fact, that means that I now know which vague direction I should dig in. So I'll, I'll get something out of it. The last few super flat streams were so sad, says Xavier. <laughs> you know, I I wouldn't disagree with that. I wouldn't disagree with that. So I'm going to um, just grab five lava, put it in my inventory, and then I'm going to mine this. I have to mine two of these blocks. But then once I've done that, I'm just about good. So one, two, three, four, five. So those are five lava buckets. Very handy to have. And then, oh, it's actually going to be a whole pain to actually place them in the right spot. So then we're going to use 
blocks to make sure that this doesn't spill over there. Because now I can just place water over here. And it will not spill round. And then we're going to immediately pick up the lava before it gets turned into a... Go! Yes! Okay, it worked. So now I do the same, but over here with these two blocks. I'm going to mine the crying obsidian. I don't think you get crying obsidian back with anything but a diamond pickaxe. And it doesn't take any decent amount of time. In fact, I'm not going to stand here. I'm going to stand closer to not the lava. Just for safety. And we're good. Okay, we're very good. I think we're good. Chat, do you feel like we're good? You feel unsafe? Go slow toy cat. This isn't a speed run. I'm speed running 100 days as fast as I can. Okay, it's gone. So then we place the lava here. Pick it up. Oh, nice. Oh, no, the water's gone. It's not a problem. But <laughs> something to think about for the future, I guess. So I'll mine this now and then deal with the last of this later. And then I'll have a full portal ready to go. That's a that's an intimidating thought. Going to the never right now feels reckless. But I'm not sure it's a bad decision. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this lava back home and then bring even more lava back with me, maybe. Hey, I love your streams, Mr. Cat, says Ben A. I love your streams, too. I mean, I love my I, I love that you love my stream. Thank you uh, for the tip. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you're enjoying uh, the stream and the start of this brand new world. Hopefully a long and successful one. Ouch. But, um... <laughs> The important thing to say now is that I've got shears and I've got shears. No, I think, yeah, I think making a bed is going to be too hard. Oh, it's getting close to the end of the day though, so. I don't have to race all the way back home. I want to find a sheep so that I can not do that. What are my odds of being able to do that in time? I could hope that this sheep just regrows his wool. He's going to, okay, sorted. Problem solved. Oh, go, go again. Oh, nice. So much wool. Yeah, lovely. And now there's another sheep there too. I can keep some sheep just stored out here by the portal. Yeah, if I'm going to the nether here anyway, it kind of almost makes sense, I think. But yeah, let's just make ourselves a bed. And we'll sleep in the bed. I think almost as soon as we're ready. I think the rotten flesh is going nowhere, so... Or rather, is worthless to me. On the ground. <coughs> I think the... Um... Ah, oh man. Yeah, what else can we get rid of? The glowing sacks. It's a nice idea, but I never need need it. And then we'll dye our bed, by the way, blue. Uh, it's it's an imp... Oh, I don't have the blue dye on me. So we're going to go back to the other village now and just pick up the, the few beds and the few hay bales. And we'll go to sleep along the way if we can. Hi, Toy Speaking Cat. of on the way. How are you today? Hope you are well. Unfortunately, I don't have anything interesting to say to do so. Here's your Toy Cat tax and I am Welsh. I'm glad you're Welsh. Thank you so much, Sophie Hawkins. It's good to see you today. Hope you're doing wonderfully. I, um... I, 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 I've been having a... I had one of those slow starts of the day, but it was one... Also, by the way, welcome to day 10. Double digits. We survived. Okay, we can give it up now. We can just jump. We can go jump straight into the nether. It's what I came here to do. Um, if I die 10 days in, it's still entirely fine. Um, so we'll chop down a tree because I've got not a lot of wood on me. And then we'll just, we'll just, we'll just do this. Yeah, let's, let's make it happen. Yeah, I, um, I like a really slow start. Wait, how did I just mine that block? That was so far away. Yeah, I, Wow. Chat, does that feel right? Look how far away I can mine blocks of this from. Okay, sorry. I'm going a little crazy as always. So, we are about to go to the Never Chat. It is a scary place. There is a risk that the stream ends in 40 seconds. But it's a risk we must take for the sake of progress. Going to the Never is an important step. It's a required step. And so today... Let's take that step. Together. <coughs> I 
am going to be very careful. But there's only so much I can do. Some nevers are just you die. And I haven't tested this one to see that it's not. Um, I wanted to see this. Uh, again, outside of the end, which I do know on this seed is very quirky and messy. Deliberately so. I know nothing about this seed. And I know nothing about what is about to happen on the other side of this. I just know I'm excited. And who wouldn't be, right? Who wouldn't be? So I'm going to mine this block in case it kills me later. I'm going to mine this block. And I'm going to say, oh, potentially goodbye. Okay. Get some sand out in case that's useful. Not death, not death, not death, not death, not death. No, God. It looks bad, chat. It looks real bad. This looks so bad. This is the worst. Okay. So I can survive this. I'm going to chop down that tree. Real quick. I'm just going to chop it down. This is terrible. But it is a nice intersection of free biomes. So, you know, we can think about the positives as well as the negatives. There's just a lot of those negatives. Uh, bundled with the positives. No, no. <coughs> I can't. I can't look away to cough. I'm going to... I'm gonna stay, stay focused here. Okay, so um, we're gonna chop down another tree. Oh gosh, <coughs> bad time, body. Pick a better time. We make him make an appointment, and we'll talk. Okay, I'm doing fine. It's scary, but I'm fine. Okay, um, there's a ghast on the other side of my portal. If he, if she lights it, I might be stuck here for a long time. And it's so sad. Why, why? I wonder if it's stress-based. Um, okay. Oh, gosh. You good. Okay, so he's not dead. And I'm not dead. So that's a start. So we're just going to chop down a few more blocks. I'm going to need a lot of these to protect the portal. Honestly, they're stem blocks, so they don't even do a good job of protecting the portal. Okay, so... <coughs> Terrible. This is not the time for this to happen to me. Go, go, go. Okay, I'm safe. Okay, so that's the never. Um, don't really see myself going back in there anytime too soon. Oh, but I'm alive. I'm alive. Um, not in a not in a perfect, all-encompassing way, but in a general way, yeah, I am surviving. Um, I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna put this one paper in there, even though paper's pretty good right now. Put the white wool in there. And let's go off to the next destination. Successful mission. So, that is a place worth going back to. Um, you've had that cough such a long time, you've been to the doctors. I feel like, um, I feel like after like a week of something, you just say to your body, okay. You've had your time. Great. Hope you've enjoyed yourself. You're over now. We're going back to real life. Hope, hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoyed that little fa phase where we pretended you were important. Um. Yeah, it's uh. I think it's only been a week though. Uh, I think I think it's the last day before we sign the eviction notice. It'll be fine. Um. Perhaps you should rest soon. You're feeling all right. I'm feeling pretty good actually. Thankfully. Um. Yeah, I, um... Yeah, I, uh... Okay, I... Oh, I know what happened. Oh, no, no. Uh, I sent the wrong... I sent the wrong video to... Uh, it was 45 minutes ago. Nah, damn it. Okay, chat. I made a mistake with my video earlier. Oh, uh, this has happened to me so many times. It's happened so many times. 
Um, yeah, I, um, I, uh, I, I, I missed out a bit of my outro. I sent the wrong video file for a video. Um, okay, stress aside. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Thank you, Sophie Hawkins, for gifting some channel members. Yeah, no, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. I, I think, uh, I am excited about the hardcore. It's, it's generally just a bummer, like, knowing to myself, like, okay, I can do this, but I can't do it as much or as long as I would want. It's like, you know, partially on Mojang, clearly they shouldn't be releasing updates. Where, you know, Minecraft Bedrock Hardcore shouldn't be coming out while I'm, I'm not feeling good. But, um, yeah, I must leave that Oh, so thank you, Sophie, for gifting some people some membership. It is very lovely. You can record a new outro live help. No, I, I, I sent it over right now. But I didn't see the message because I was streaming. Do 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 Um, yeah, thank you so much uh, for the gifted members, Sophie Hawkins. I really appreciate the uh, the things on the stream. Speaking of uh, love, love streams. the streams, keep up the great work. Do. Thank you so much, hyphen. <laughs> I'm guessing that is to say you do not want to share your name. But I really am glad you like the the streams. I I think for a lot of people, um, the uh, the much longer form is like more daunting. But it can be so much better to actually have what is what feels much more like actually hanging out and playing some Minecraft, which is important for something like this, where you know we're doing uh, quite a bit of you know really that, in my opinion. So yeah, we're gonna go to this village. We're going to take the hay bales, because I don't think we got all of them last time. I've got a hoe now to make it faster. And then we're going to see if there's anything else that's worth going to. I think I see a ruined portal, but... Oh, I would have died. Chat, if I'd have just jumped wrong, I could have I could have ended up dead just then. Because that's 92 down to... If it's anything above 69, I would have just died on the spot. So this is... Seven. Oh, I, yeah, I would be dead. You could, I could have just died right now. Whoopsie. Um, I love hanging out here so much. You people are so lovely. Yeah, I had someone uh, actually ask recently. It, it's, it's happened on streams a few times. Someone's like, oh yeah, like, is, it's nice how like, uh, you know, I'm like, I, I watch the streams. I'm not on the regulars. I'm not like a dasher or whatever. Um, and someone's asking like, yeah, how do people like join like a community like that? And the answer is like, obviously, um, you know, you use you use everyone's favorite parasocial currency, known as you know, your local currency on YouTube, or via Streamlabs if you're really a uh, big fan of the stream, just like Dash was. Um, also, thank you, the little Pascal, for becoming the 373rd channel member. Appreciate you joining the club. Um, but yeah, I, um, I, I think the the simplest way that you really like join any community is you just start putting yourself out there and like the first few times like yeah you get nothing in response um, but eventually like someone's like oh that's cool and they respond to you and they start to recognize that you're there this is weirdly enough like um back in the days before there was a reddit for something this would work surprisingly well on forums it's just like yeah you start chatting on forums and eventually people are like oh it's the guy from the forum also i need cauldrons and i need dripstones if i have both of those things I'm ready to go. I'm ready to start farming lava. That'd be sick. That'd be something pretty cool, honestly. So let's grab a few more beds and the last of the hay bales. And then I think if we can't find a ruined portal, let's go home. Because a ruined portal would be a clever way to like get home via somewhere else. But for now, um, oh wait, there's gonna be a there's gonna be a brewing stand in here. Would love a brewing stand. Nope, there's not. There's, this is the lamest house I've ever seen. Really disappointed in it, honestly. But yeah, if you just put yourself out there enough, it usually, uh, eventually people start to, like, recognize the name. Sometimes it's for negative reasons. Like, I know, there's there's a few people in chat. It's, it's like, 1%, but it's, it's a natural human thing, right? And, like, they generally don't know how to draw attention to themselves, besides saying negative things like that. Oh, you washed out. You, 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 you fell off. I, I don't, there's, there's lots of generic things you say. Like, as a way to, like, try and, like, bring people down, right? You, 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 
th there are lots of people who do that. And so you might you might end up creating a reputation that way, which won't really do anyone any favors. But in general, uh, oh, what, we, we didn't actually pick up the bed. So let's throw that, and then throw that, and then throw that, and there's the bed. So I believe this is the room of the brewing stand. So if I want the brewing stand, which I do, I have to sacrifice something. In this case, two signs. So goodbye signs, goodbye brewing stand villager. Let's go back home. I could sell my gold at home now and get a pretty decent amount for it. I think that's pretty tempting to me. <coughs> but yeah, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of people who basically start that way. There's, there's never a like, oh yeah, this person was in the prophecy. It was foreseen that they would come up. By the way, at least Powers asks, how are you doing today? I'm feeling pretty good. I didn't sleep last night. It, again, I've gone to the point now where I'm entirely better. My voice and my coughing aren't. But like me as a person, I feel good. I don't need any like, you know, painkillers or um, anything like that um, to be alive. Um, yeah, it's very, very odd, honestly. I don't understand what happens to me. I think this is just my body's natural phase. Because I've gone through this like three times in the last few years. So either it's COVID, but I don't know. There's a lot of people in my close personal life who haven't gotten it. Either it's COVID or I don't know. I, I, I ate some really, really bad cheese and some undercooked bacon last week when it all started. So either that just weakened my immune system or this is a bad batch of food poisoning. I don't know what food poisoning is though. Like I... Everyone acts like, oh, you don't want food poisoning, trust me. And it's like, no, I don't understand. Like, how, how is it that eating bad food makes you sick? Surely you just throw up the bad food and then it's gone. Like, you know, like, uh, unlike a disease, which is like, you know, one n n nanometer in diameter, like three microns across and can fit through anything, surely uh, you, can, you can imagine that food is big and can just be spat out. And even the germs on the food are relatively big compared to the germs that cause diseases. But, you know, I'm thinking about things too hard at that point, I'm sure. Okay, I want some jungle wood to make my chest out of. So I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna drop some blocks. I think the logical one right now is probably the torches or the seeds. I think the seeds are just a little bit more realistic. So we'll drop them. And I'm going to start farming some wood so I can make my big chest house. It's going to be nice. Bacteria enters your bloodstream. You know what? You shouldn't, you shouldn't be eating food via injection. I, I'm sorry to say that. I, I hope that's not bigoted. But I, I, just, I just think that we should be eating foods in our mouths. We got a whole digestive tract for it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I... Uh, I think the uh, created a new world right now and spawned on a village island. Ooh. What are you going to do with that? Are you going to turn it into something? It's going to be fun. I, um... But yeah, the... In general, that if, if you ever want to join a community, you throw yourself out there. But the first ever community I joined was, um... Like, it was like a website running community. I, uh... I think I mentioned before I had an advertising website when I was, like, 12. But before I got into that website, like, you know, like a good nine months before, I would just, like, chat around in the forum a lot. It, it's, one, useful for, like, learning about what people are up to. But, two, then people would know who I was and they'd like to, like, trust my site and, you know, stuff like that. Because there are lots of scams in online communities. People like to make money. And there's a few people, thankfully not large numbers, but a few people don't even realize that you make more money by being honest in business. Like, you make more money in the short term by being dishonest. But in the long run, almost always makes sense just to, you know, tell the truth with people and, and sell a product that they would like to buy. But, uh, yeah, so I uh, I feel like that's there's quite a few situations where I've kind of joined communities that way. And, uh, yeah, if you, if you like the people here, I think a lot of people do. It's something that might be good for you. I think a lot of people... Um, something... Uh, a lot of people who... Uh, in some part met through here. Um, Kat Beanie is one of the moderators here. Uh, she's uh, set up in, with help from some others, but like has set up a uh, divergence SP, which is really uh, a cool idea, but also shows that, like, yeah, people naturally gravitate towards each other based on all sorts of things. 
some people, <clears throat> again, like I, to me, it seems so obvious that like, oh yeah, sharing an interest is the way that you, you know, like meet people, be friendly with people. <laughs> to some people, it's so obvious that like, yeah, you just, you gotta talk about stuff, you know, you have real emotional connections. To some people, it's like, yeah, if we share some major characteristic, we're both, uh, you know, like really into violins, we're both, you know, we both share one of the letters on the on the rainbow alphabet. We, you, whatever it is, like people find things that link them together. And you can too, or you could not. It's your choice, really. <laughs> By the way, I think we missed a day. Did we? Chat, day counter update, yep. <laughs> I'd uh, be so upset if I got scammed by Toy Cat. Okay, how can I scam you? Let's 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 work it out right now. Um, I, uh, I I don't think I can in, in any easy, meaningful way. I should not have done that. That was that was needlessly scary. So I thought this was my home, but I'm so far from it already. Even though I'm here, I'm gonna run down that river and I'm gonna try and get all of that sugar cane and just bring it back home with me. I just want so. Oh whoa whoa. Okay. Chat, it's potentially dangerous. But have I found another way down below the ground? I think maybe I have. Oh, yeah. That goes real deep, too. Should we just give it a shot? What do you reckon? I mean, there's a geode, right? Whoa, I think there's a geode. It's a worthless geode because it's nowhere near my base. Like, it's never going to respawn. But, like... Having some cool blocks and a spy glass or whatever. Let's go for it. Yeah, that's a geo. Oh, it's got a hole in two. How lovely. So let's torch it up. Just stay safe, right? Shouldn't have placed that sand there, but that's fine. Place one on the inside and then one on the downside. Okay, so I want some jingle jangles for sure. Oh, I can't pick any up. I have no space. I'll be back. I'll, I'll be back. Um... Ah, oh, that's that's so sad. I, what a what a waste of time. I should place something big here to make it obvious this is where this is. But yeah, I, I can't do anything about this right now. Tragically terrible chat. Let me tell you. So I do have a pile of dirt. No, I threw away the pile of dirt, thankfully, instead of something more valuable. And uh, oh, I have a I have an amethyst block. I could have taken a whole bunch of them if I wanted to. Place my torch there, place a block there. I messed up the parkour, and now it's gonna be hard to get back. Can I do this? Yes, I can. Nice. Oh, up we go, all the way to the top. Lovely, real tragedy, says uh, Skyzy. It is. But um, yeah, I think the idea behind, I think what people like about, I think there's lots of systems in life where it's like, yeah, Everyone likes this a aspect of things, but that only works because it comes with the parts of it that you don't really like. Like, something I've noticed is very common is people do something they really, really love, and then they eventually work out, like, how to make a business or a job from that thing they love. And it basically, what that revolves around, like, you know, let's say it's making YouTube videos or traveling the world or whatever, but it basically comes down to how can you interest people, how can you serve people, while doing your thing. How can you how can you do the thing that you love while still it being of value to other people such that they pay you or want to for it? And I think that's a really interesting like problem at the bottom of life. Is that like a part of us will always want to do the things that aren't important and valuable. But the, we, you know, we always know that that's eventually where it's heading back to. So these beds are going to just go in this chest too. That is where they end up. That's fine with me. I'm going to put the brewing stand probably in the same place that the combat stuff goes. Just seems smart to me. So if this is where that goes, this is where... I'll put like a enchantment table there maybe. And so the brewing stands can be off to the side there. Simple enough. Then, um, man, my, this is still going very crazily. Put the lava in. And then an entire stack of sand is going to be smelted up. Then I'm gonna go look under that mountain for some redstone, and it's gonna be it's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. And then we're gonna use some some of that jungle we chopped down to make uh, this chest house. So this is what a chest looks like 
it is if it's eight blocks tall at about five blocks we have a big thing coming in there so uh one two three do i have some more of these on me i don't okay i've lost them all <laughs> guess i'll just make some more but we're just gonna make a big old entrance to this whole thing which includes going up there and this is gonna be my chest house chat it's where all my chests will go and live a happy life it looks a little messy, but it's, it's it's my house, and that's what matters. By the way, we survived day 11, chat. You know what that means we're on? Day 12. Exciting. Very exciting. Okay, so more jungle planks. We can make a ton of these. Maybe we just should, honestly. So stack up all the way. Except for over here, where we'll like stack up to the middle. And then restack up to here. And then all the way, all the way around. Easy stuff. So just make things a little bit more complete for now. And put the copper away in here. Because we're also starting to smelt the that. I want to have so much sand smelted into so much everything else. Cobble deep slate is going to turn into deep slate bricks. I think I have my chest with all my cobble deep slate in it. In here. So any cobble deep slate? Surprisingly none. Very, very confusing, actually. But just place some bricks. One, two, three. Ooh, mine this block, I guess, because we don't need it. And so, like I said, if we want about five apes of the way up to have some more blocks, that means that this is going to be block five. And this is block six. And then seven. And then eight. I think that's going to look kind of funny. So if I was going to have a big row running across, would it make sense there or a block lower, chat? I think there and then just have the top of it be one block higher. Yeah, it's... It's unencounter... Yeah, we have to have a couple of blocks between this first thing and then the thing above it. So we'll just have that go another block higher up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's just going to be nine blocks tall. No one will question it and we'll do great. Chest house is six, says uh, Robert Bearded Man. Sorry, Bearded Man. Someone is called Robert. No one is called Robert. My brain just misread your name. You know, you might be called Robert. I'm not going to judge. If, if you were called Robert, I would still value you as a subscriber just as much, Bearded Man. I hope you know that. I, uh, you might be called Robert. You know, I've never asked. Also, I'm called Robert, says Robbie. No, you're called Robbie. I can't believe you try to lie to me like that when the information is so clear to see. I don't know who to trust anymore when, when people are saying stuff like that. But yeah, let's make some melons. Uh, and let's also breed some cows. So, yeah, we have some very serious progress happening now. It's my favorite thing to be able to say. And just while we go underground, let's, let's, let's see if we can't get some slightly more efficient stuff happening over here. So this is... 18 pieces of paper already primed and ready to go but I just feel like I can do better chat I just feel like I've got the dirt I should place the dirt and then place the sugar cane just, just, just grow more and more and more there's no good reason why sh one sugar cane today can't be worth 10 sugar cane tomorrow there's no good reason so then we'll pick up some more sand mining around here place more sugar cane just so, so much sugar cane pick up this one and then i think we'll start making paper now you always have to make a cutoff point this is mine and uh yeah we'll store this in here for now with the paper wonderful okay so bones that this and that hey gaming pro king Al gaming yt thank you so much for coming the 374th channel member appreciate it a lot. Um, the sugarcane obsession is a beautiful thing. It's a, Genuinely, it's fun. This is uh, what I'm doing today. Is a run of Minecraft where getting that sugarcane in early actually is the smart move. The smartest move, you might even be fair to say. Also, I'm going to go grab my bucket and fill it with water. And also, I don't know, leave these lava buckets somewhere, I guess. Seems like a logical thing to do, too. So just make a chest, first of all. Um, 
chest, nice and easy. Do do do. Place it down. Plenty of space just to store the buckets. Nice. Then we can take this bucket out, put that sand in, take that glass out, and yeah, I've got I've got my next thing sorted, just not my current thing sorted. Let's hop down. Oh, I have those seeds, right? No, I don't have the seeds. I specifically used up the seeds. Sorry, guys. Okay, so um, I like the hill behind a mountain. Such an odd shape. Which one, actually? You know, I... Uh, there are some really weirdly shaped hills in this world. But I... Oh, that one over there. Maybe, right? That's a very odd one. You could make that into a cute little statue of something. I don't know if it's a good idea to. But I bet you could anyway. There's nothing ever stopping you in Minecraft. And that's the beauty sometimes, isn't it? So this guy probably wants to buy wheat from me. Nope, he does not. But we'll we'll, we'll make sure he does later. Is this a cartographer already? It's a Fletcher. No, it's a cartographer. Yeah, wow. So, useful to see. We'll buy some things of him maybe later. But for now, up we go. Uh, the great thing about this is no death loop, says Zotel Acronym. Yay! I've died once, and I've already been trying to reclaim that glory. You don't know that there's no death loops coming. You don't know. See, if I recall, earlier, when I was dying, there was a big hole under this mountain. I might find an ancient city if I'm not careful. But, um, yeah, I, I feel like there was a big hole. And when there's big hole, there's big, big ores. That's what they say, I prick. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's that's a nice cave right here. I bet there's a lot of coal above me because I'm quite high up too. So we'll just seal this off. Please. Place a torch. And then go for the creeper. Go. No. Okay. I'm fine. I'm surviving. Oh, yeah. It's fine. There's a baby zombie riding a zombie there, but that's okay. That's chill. That's great. Don't you dare ride it. Whoa. Do you see how fast he got on that second zombie? He, like, teleported onto it like you would jump onto a boat or something. So I'm gonna kill the baby zombie while he's still on the big zombie. Oh, no, I won't. Go! Okay, we're good. So the light at the end of this tunnel, I think, is just the, the surface again. So I guess I came in here and I picked up some coal. It's not terrible. You know, it's not, it's not the best thing in the world, but it's, you know, it's not unforgivably bad. And then... Yeah, let's 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 go for this. Pick up the coal and just try. But I want redstone. I wanna. I really, really, really want to pick up a lot of redstone. I at least one for a compass. I need one for a compass to get this trial chamber map. Also, yeah, a second cartographer might be useful in case the first one doesn't give me the right type of map. I think they all do right now, but just in case. I uh, I had the screen scroll down a little bit. I, uh, also, uh, hey, beautiful, says digging troops. You know what? I, uh, hello, how are you doing? Today, I am doing wonderfully, personally. You know what? Call, call strangers on the internet beautiful internet. That's what you should do more often, I reckon. Okay, so I'm just gonna climb down. I'm just gonna see what's happening. I'm gonna eat cook, cook pork chops, just in case. I'm gonna re prepare. I've, this has happened to me before. Just have some blocks ready to go. In case things get bad. But yeah, I just want to pick pick up some easy redstone. Is that so much to ask? Okay. Let's charge. And that's a zombie. Don't need the zombie. This is a big cave. Um, oh, this is a really, really big cave. But it's just so high up. I, I want dripstone as well, by the way. Dripstone and redstone would both go a long way right now. I'm just finding so much iron. It's usually the opposite of my problem. It's a good opposite problem to have, I guess. I think I saw redstone down there. Might have hallucinated it. But I might not have. So let's hope. Everyone hope together for no hallucination. We can we can pray. Um, okay, so... Yeah, I don't think I would have seen redstone. It's far too high up. Yeah, it's interesting how shallow these caves are. Like, they have no emotional... Oh, so many creepers, chat! No! Okay. That was bad. I am going to chill for a bit. Okay. 
Um, we good. I'm fine. I'm chilling. Having a great time just trying to find this redstone. It's gonna be down there, I think. I'm just gonna jump past. It's kind of dangerous to go deep in a cave like this. In, like, without securing everything before you. But, yeah, let's let's jump out. Let's, let's accept that I'm just gonna have to mine in my tunnel. I wanted to shortcut it, but all of these caves are just not the right depth. I was hoping I'd find a deep dock because we're under a mountain too, but it's not a real mountain. So no, no trial chambers, no ancient city. Just a little bit of sadness, honestly. It'd be fun to raid an ancient city. Chat, where, where are my nearest mountains, do you think? I, I bet we could find some. Oh, don't knock me off. Don't knock me off. No, 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 no. Whoopsie. Should have shielded. Should have shielded immediately, really. <laughs> well, I, I think now you know that is what can happen. Uh, if you play hardcore and you, uh, and you don't take your security seriously enough, you might just die. You might die in a bad way. Even I, I might go as far as to say. <laughs> so this is my first. I put over two hours of work into this one. I'm, I'm hot. I was so excited. Okay, so just, just my own curiosity. First of all, there was in fact a look. Look at it. I would have, I would have dug in underneath it. I'd have dug in and thought like, oh, there's no stronghold here. But was there a trowel chamber? Um, let's see the way I was digging. Would I have eventually ended up in one? No, no trial chamber, any reasonable direction. So you need to trade with villagers to find a trial chamber. That is for sure. Um, and yeah, do you want to see my death spot? Oh, look, it's right here. So, uh, no, these are just experience points. This is not my death spot, I don't think. Thank you, Cole, today for the conciliatory membership. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, down here, maybe. I think it was right near the stronghold based on what I'm seeing in these cave locations. Where are all my torches? You'd figure we'd see them. That they light up the caves. Um, so I think it was below here somewhere. Over here? No. No torches. Okay. Whoopsie internet. So I'm, I, I permanently locked out this world. I can never play survival in it again. So we'll have to start again. <laughs> so that was attempt two. I'm looking forward to seeing you for attempt three. Third time's the charm. It's what they say, right? Um, won't even won't even be dying the next time I try this. I had a lot of fun today. Um, everyone just we'll put part one in the title for a bit. So the first like bunch of people who click on this will be like, oh, he's he he clearly didn't die. But yeah, you want to look around my chests. Look out! Look how nice it is in here. It's great. I lo loving it. It's it's wonderful between the lid and the the main chest. Anyway, it was very wonderful. But now you know that you might die if you play hardcore. Have a good day. Bye. Wait. I'll see you tomorrow. Probably. I assume. This is a cool seed, but I feel like we'll try a different one because there's no point just doing the same thing a second time, right? See you next time.